Did you bid on any of Donkey Lips's junk? <laughs> I haven't watched the video yet. We're going to do that tonight. We're going to do that together because I I haven't uh <laughs> I'm just seeing the uh, the title of the video, and it's like, <laughs> I can't wait. But I like your attitude. I think we do bid on it. I think we do actually go and bid on some of these items because I think you'll be surprised when we can get everything for $11. You know, I mean, it's it's pretty nuts. So let's uh let's watch the donk the donkman donkey Michael Ray Bow where can we do a super chat fundraiser to bid as a collective? Well, it's a silent auction. I mean, I I just think it's gonna be pretty. Let's see what the items are, cause honestly, I don't want some of this stuff, cause you know he's jerked off on a lot of it. We saw that, um, we saw that chair that he pulls his little peen to, and it, you know, covered in cum, just copious amounts of gasm all over the place. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm very high and very drunk. This is what you get. You you want a members only show? I'll go for an hours and hours and hours and hours, but you got to dangle a carrot in front of me, aka substances. Pickwick Pubsman gets it. Pub pub pubman Pickman. So apparently, Michael Ray Bauer launched his auction today. I'm excited. The title of this is. First items, retro VHS and DVD autographed. Willie's Salute Your Shorts Evolution Plus. Um, All right. It's your boy, Michael Ray. Hey, Bauer, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe, that like. This guy looks just like me. This guy looks exactly like me. And it's rude like button consider becoming a member of this channel for exclusive offers exclusive. discounts early footage and all that other stuff when i go you know live as well for members only in the coming weeks and early access what is today today is friday it's friday friday gotta get down on friday wow and i'm selling my life that's right, I decided to go into my archives of my personal items, and I decided to create a silent auction, if you will. If you haven't watched my other videos that explain it in a little bit more detail, I'll link that down below, as well as all the information for the items in day one of the auction. Just a quick little information tidbit, every couple of days, I don't, like, I really feel like him and I look exactly the same. That's how I feel. That's what I feel like I look like on a daily basis. I also love that he goes against every fat girl's instinct and films himself from the bottom looking up. I love that. Maybe every three days on all my social medias, maybe two of them or three of them, or maybe all of them. I want you guys to join and subscribe and be a part of all of it. But every two or three days, I'm going to put a product or something that I'm selling, selling from personal items, Super. whether it's clothing, scripts, um, photos, uh, props from movies or stuff in my career. And you never know what you're going to get. That's why you have to go to my social medias, my Instagram, this YouTube, and check back every three days. So I don't know what he's doing here, but this is very odd. He's like doing a silent auction, but it's very weird where it'll be announced and how it'll be announced and how you bid. And 
where are you been? And it's going to be a mystery where he posts items and you're going to have to figure out which platform to go to to find out the next. You know, not since Banksy does New York have we seen such a goddamn scavenger hunt for useless garbage. <laughs> this is like, I'm supposed to collect. I mean, and again, I don't want to be gross. I'm just being realistic. What do you think the parts per million is on cum? on that cardboard VHS cover. Anybody? What's the over under? Six? Twelve? There's no way this guy has collected VHSs and DVD covers. Tookie once got touched in his naughty place at Camp Anawana. <laughs> That's, thank you for sharing. Oh, fuck. And just a little bit of information. Today's item is VHS crazy and DVD crazy. That's right. I what? Broke into my official archives, and I'm going to sell a few items. A few items are going to be listed, so don't get confused. I'll try to explain it as best as I can. I've never done this before. And I have to do it through DMs and social media because my website can't really handle it. Your website just can't handle it. And, um... And you live in the Vida Loca. She was built like a bus, bus, but... Yeah, there's some in infrastructure issues, I guess. But I don't, I don't want a third party as well. You get it? It cuts out on trying to earn, earn some cash. All right, let's get right into <laughs> to it. So the first item I'm getting rid of is my VHS personal copy of The Willies. That's right. I'm on the back cover. And here's the DVD. Okay. I don't know what The Willies is. Let's go do a quick search. For the Willies VHS. I mistyped that. The Willies VHS. For sale on eBay for $39.99. Okay. The Willies on VHS. I imagine if uh thirty oh, hold on, fifty three on Amazon. Okay. So we're talking about fifty bucks. Let's split the difference. 39 on eBay, 59 on Amazon. Okay, it's a $50 VHS. I just want to know what we're working with. Because what what, what's the value that you think Michael Ray Bauer's autograph brings to an item like this? Thumbnail, I don't know. But uh, so there it is. It is a working good copy. And I am on the back. <laughs> and they're hard to find. They aren't. They're on Amazon and eBay, the two places I would first look for a copy of this shitty VHS. And I'll autograph the back or the front for the, the, bid, the winning bidder. And it'll also come with... Oh, boy. A autographed photo or two autographed photos from the Willies. One of them's already autographed, but I'll autograph, you know, them live on a video for you as well. So, this is item number one. The photographs and the will autographed Willies VHS. All right. What are your predictions? What do we think this is going to end up going for? Anybody? What's your big guess? 
We've got a very used. I mean, nobody has seen the Willies more than Michael Ray Bauer. He's rewinded and fast forward and rewinded and fast forward. Dr. Sketty Tooth John says, what are you going to play this on? I, You know, people might laugh at me, but I actually have a VCR in my closet. But only because I, ha I still have a bunch of VHS tapes of me doing comedy when I started. And I always wanted to, like, rip it to digital. But who can be bothered? Who has the time? 10K, $187,000, $1, $22, $5, $40, $50, $60, $70, $80, $90, $100, $200, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $
There's no other human in the world. This is confirmed. I looked. That has any of this stuff. These pictures are twenty or thirty dollars in each. Uh, uh, each. The, those are those photos are worth less than than copy paper. Because you can't print something else on them. <laughs> I mean, there's no market for this. And he's going to get, let, let's say it's worth double what market value, 50 bucks. The, the photos are neither here nor there. Let, let's go ahead and give it to him. Let's give him $30 a photo. Okay, 60 more bucks. Now he's at 110 and even let's add in, let's double the value of the DVD from 50 to 100 because it's Michael Ray Bauer's personal copy. He's going to autograph it. $60 for the photos. That's $160. It's like this guy needs $160. He said he needs a, it's not like, look, I'm not kidding you. I have a closet full of shit that I need to get rid of. I have mixing boards, I have uh, microphones, I have cameras. Anybody need a Cam Canon 7D? Lenses, I have uh, Octobox, light system, Alien Bees. You know, I have some great equipment just sitting in a closet. There will come a day where I get my act together, take photos of it all, and list it and sell it, I guess. Because I just don't use it anymore for anything. But when I sell that Canon 7D for $500, you know, it's not because I need that to pay the electric bill, which, believe it or not, is getting close to $500. It doesn't even matter. Send me your baseball cards that were willed to you. I don't even know what those are worth. I don't know what any of those are. And they're also not in good condition, so I don't even think they're worth anything. But, like, he needs $150. So he already downsized from, like, his dad's place to the Bauer Bachelor box. We've heard about how hard things are. He has to eat tacos out of toilets and um, ramen noodles and stuff. And now... Oh, hot dogs boiled in Hormel chili. Boo. And now, you know, he's um he's selling his personal collection of memorabilia, signaling both that he's at the end of his life and that he's at the end of his rope. Because I, I there's no way in fucking hell. <laughs> That he would sell this if he didn't have to. And then, and by the way, this is item number one. I imagine you want to come out of the gate like a stand-up with, with a good joke. And number one item is a VHS copy of The Willies, a movie nobody's even ever heard of or knows exists. And yet, this is what he's out of the gate with. The Willies. Okay. And autographed photos. And he's going to get that 150 bucks. What happens when he runs out of shitty memorabilia to sell? Now what? Rent's not coming down in Hollywood. You know what I mean? And this guy doesn't work. So where do we go from here? When, when, once he's out of things to sell, um, where do we go from here? Addicted to ubiquity. How long until he's selling his plasma? It's a good point. Maybe when maybe we'll get to a point in the future where he can sell fingers or his arms to people in need of limbs. Sixty dollars. Now, how do you bid? You go to my email or my social media, and then you write me a direct message or you write me an email and you say, "I would like to bid on the Willie's VHS and photo set, the autographed Willie's VHS set." You just write that. Then you put your bid. And the starting bid is at $60. But it, remember, the highest bidder will get it. And it's only. Ah, not a typical auction then. Got it.
only going to last a couple of days. You're, you're not, you're not going to get a second or a third or a fourth time to bid. You're not going to get that because you're not going to know what other people are bidding. So you got to bid the highest amount you want to buy this for. Again, you can put 60, but I guarantee you somebody will outbid you. And you might not even know for a few days. So, whatever you can afford, what you think it's worth. If there's anything worse than being outbid, it's not knowing for a few days. It's the worst. Send me that bid if you want this item. And then after two days, or three days, three days, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This guy has the same guy do his policies that movie has for the prize night. I'll let the winning bidder know that they got it, and then we'll deal with shipping and payment. Sipping? Through PayPal and Venmo as it goes along. So there it is. This is item number one. You're Again, like, what if you just did a show and turned on your Super Jets? His channel's monetized. Imagine doing all this for $60. And it, let's say it gets double, 120 Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. By the way, if if one of our fans buys and bids on this and buys it and sends it in, we will burn it live on the show. You have my word. If anybody gets a hold of any of Michael Ray Bauer's memorabilia, send it into our P.O. box. 4948 Mountain Vista Street, number 13932, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89121. I warned my address. And we will burn it live on the show. A live fire inside the studio. You're goddamn right. You have my word. And we'll make sure Michael Ray Bauer sees it. Remember this prized possession of yours? Enjoy the money, dork. Can we just light it on fire? He'll lose his mind. Put a camera on it so he can watch it burn from its POV. We'll work. Well, you know me. I'll I'll handle it. We'll make sure it's a good display. A good display. I have a 60% good Michael Ray Bauer TTS. Do we want it just for this show or should I not uh, bother? Yeah, let's hear it. Put it up. Let's hear it. Come on, baby. It's Friday night, and I want to have you over to lick my nuts. Okay. Woo, that fucking whiskey is kicking in, huh? Where's vaping Dago when you need him? Justin Kimple, who I want to remind you is in charge of our likes tonight and is not doing great. We're not even at a 50% ratio. I'm not happy about that. I am not happy about that. So you're not doing your job. You're letting the whole chat down. You may go the way of Gina Bobinman. You know? I thought you were a mod. How are you? <laughs> How are you doing? How are you? Thank you for welcome back. No, you welcome you back. Remember he was welcoming, welcoming his chat back? Get on the chat back. Make a new plan, Stan. Buy the DVD, Lee. I just got to be me. Smoke show uh, made myself lol. Sh smoke show. Um, who broke Jake's heart? Smash the cush button. I'm too drunk to do this. I may have to leave soon. I planned on renting a movie and watching it tonight. Is Tim Chesmar around? You heard my instructions. There will also be instructions down below. If you want to get the autographed Willie's VHS and photo set, starting bids are $60. And I recommend you come in for more than that. And like I said, if you win, you'll definitely be contacted. Sorry, I don't know where to set all this without messing it up. Now, this is a bunch of things in one video. I should have separated it, but I figured let's just get rid of the, 
all of this VHS DVD stuff in one go. So the second item. Drum roll. Up for auction is. Let's hear it. An Evolution DVD. What? Got a weird holding. I actually, ha I actually have this movie on DVD, I think. Personal collection. It's got all the paperwork inside. The paperwork. <laughs> As if it's a Van Gogh. And you ever need to prove it's provenance. <laughs> What's happening? It's got all the paperwork. This is a true, real copy. And if you want it autographed... On the, the CD, the inline. That makes it worth less. Or the cover. It brings the value down. Or whatever. Let me know. Let me know. It also comes with, and I haven't autographed them yet because I will want the bitter, the, the bitter wins, is two photos from Evolution. Two screen grabs from Evolution that I will autograph. Holy shit. I just realized these are pictures he... Screen grabbed of the D. I'll tell you exactly what happened. Holy shit. I know exactly what happened now. This motherfucker ripped his VHS and DVD to his computer because he can't let it go. Movies he was in. And took screen grabs of them that he was in printed them out on his shitty inkjet printer and is literally selling print. I mean, look at the border around that. He's not even trying to hide that it's a printed photo. You know, if you cut this out and had it matted and framed or put it in some sort of lamination with no border, I mean, he printed out inkjet garbage and is autographing it and shelling it shelling it there's gloss yeah there's photo paper he can buy photo paper it's not even glossy paper oh i thought you said there was gloss i don't think there is i think these are standard uh 3m copy paper to you all right, so Evolution Photos autographed and the Evolution DVD autographed sent to you. Starting bids for the Evolution photograph and DVD is $60. Maybe you see a theme going. So, again, if you want the Willys VHS, starting bid is 60 the Evolution DVD autographed and the photos starting bid is 60. It will go for more. Trust me. Now, this is an interesting item. Just like the Willys DVD. You can't find the Willys DVD, I mean the VHS. It's really, really hard to find. Cost a lot of money. And I'm just letting you guys know. <laughs> this is a personal videotape. Holy shit. What are we doing? What are we doing? This is a blank tape with some masking tape on it with Sharpie marker. Yellowed to fuck. What is this? <laughs> Beloved Chatter said, wow, the poor lobby is deader than a doornail. Yeah. Of Salute Your Shorts, where I, I recorded a bunch of episodes on here. He used to sell DVDs of Salute Your Shorts illegally on uh, YouTube. The <laughs> Zen producer says, does he have a social worker to oversee him? I don't think so. I don't believe so. I don't think he has a carer. I don't know what he's going to do when he can't afford this place anymore. And believe me, it's going to be sooner than later. That's a fact. In the 90s, with the commercials, 
I don't know what episodes are on here. I haven't went through it. Maybe I filmed homemade porn. I don't know. I mean, the odds of that are slim to none. <laughs> you may get this and, and you find out there's homemade porn. Do you think he's fucked? I don't mean to be gross on a Friday night when we're all just kicking back, getting loose. Do you think Michael Ray Bauer has fucked? <laughs> Let's be honest. Does he fuck? Aren't all his items personal copies by default? Yeah, I mean, literally, this is stuff you're digging out of your grandma's basement. Everything here is a personal copy. It doesn't make a lick of sense to keep announcing that. But this, what he means by personal here is bootleg. <laughs> I recorded a bunch of episodes on here. Do we have somebody using the Michael Ray Bauer voice yet? I want to hear it. Let's hear how close it is. Bonin, do your thing. I know you work the magic. You're the AI whisperer. So let's hear he why he's so good is he writes in the voice of the the person. And not a lot of people do that. They just say something and use the voice. Bonin writes in the voice of the character. So I want to hear what Michael Ray Bauer would say about this program right now. Because this is the first use of it. This is literally Neil Armstrong. This is stepping on the moon. This is the first time we're going to be hearing Bauer. Hold on. Moody said it's not ready yet. A few more minutes. Okay, you let us know. <laughs> I doubt it, but you never know. But it's a personal recorded Salute Your Shorts videotape of certain episodes, and it has all the 90s commercials with it. I'm pretty sure it's probably mid '90s. So, uh, yeah. So if you want this? His really parents recorded this when he was a kid because he was on TV. Interesting product, and I'll autograph it on the cover. There is no cover. And it'll also come with some salute your shorts pictures that I'll autograph each one. And you, you'll, you'll. This is not a guarantee of what you'll get. But you'll get something amazing of Salute Your Shorts. And what? This photo ripped a little bit, so I'll fix that. But He can't even show us what we're getting? He can't even show us what we're getting. To Bauer, this must all feel like a Black Mirror episode. Oh, somebody's been watching the new season. Huh? I only have one more episode left. I'm getting really sad. I'll send you two autograph photos one of the cast and one of me personally autographed as well as the vhs now yes i also have a couple of other vhs's of salute your shorts but they are not recorded with commercials the other two that are available is a vhs and i'm not going to show it but i have it is of the gag reel the gag reel from, I believe, season one. I have a tape just like this with the official gag reel. And I have a the original pilot. The original pilot that was never aired that just recently made its way online. I have a VHS from the original pilot. And if you want any of those. $60. Let me know. So if you wanted to salute your shorts recorded VHS, then you write that when you make a bid. You Does he only have one tape? That would be like, what, four episodes? Right. You know, I would like item number two, or th this is item number three. Item number Jesus three. Jesus Christ. I love how Citizen M's like, it's actually pretty simple. It's like, is it? Is it Citizen M? Jesus Christ. I can't even believe Citizen M is allowed out without L and N-O-P. <laughs> Salute your shorts, recorded VHS. But if you want the gag reel tape or the, um, the pilot, then write 
Salute your shorts, VHS gag reel. Salute your shorts, VHS uh, pilot, VHS. <laughs> what? Just right, salute your shorts, VHS pilot, VHS gag reel. Salute your shorts, VHS. Simply write slash VHS DVD slash VHS pilot salute your shorts DVD class. And they'll all be autographed and they'll all come with photos as well. Everything will come with a, a piece of paper. All the paperwork. If you can understand what I'm saying. The starting bid for $60. For any of the salute your shorts VHSs is. But I'm bump sixty dollars. <laughs> I guarantee you this one will go for a lot more. It won't. Um, the recorded one. Now what are the odds we ever find out how much this stuff goes for? Almost the only way almost the only way to find out what this stuff goes for is to win an item, I would bet. How and how Embarrassing to be like, I made $462 selling all my belongings. Item number four, autographed Sex in the Teenage Mind DVD. That's right. I'll autograph this, this, wherever you want. And I will print a photo from this movie. I mean, we know. I'll print out something from something else. Of me acting in it, and I'll print it in color, and I'll autograph a photo as well. I don't have one made, but I will do that if you want to pick up the section. That and we all know Michael Ray Bauer has the highest quality printer. These photos are going to be wall-worthy, folks. As soon as you unpack them from all the packing peanuts, he sends it in and lay it out in the sun for seven hours to get all the curls out from the corners. You're going to love the way this hangs on your wall. <laughs> Stop saying gag reel. I will not. You mind your own business. Aren't you supposed to be handling the likes today? Teenage Mind movie that I'm in, autographed. Gina Bobina, you're in charge of the... How are you? Gina, can you call in and tell me the story about this date? What is everybody talking about? This date? Outback? Chad? Is this real or is this some bit? I'm so fucking out of it. By me. All right. Starting bid for this item. Where do you even put a DVD these days? Anybody have a slot around their house that a DVD slides into? Is. But I'm bump. $60. You see that thing? All right, and again, any questions, hit me up on email, whatever, and I'll try to answer them. But send your bids and DM or emails for each individual item. I need to know what you're buying. And I'll How funny if one of our listeners wins all the items and we just burn Michael Ray Bauer's stuff for one month's bills. Tell somebody write him and be like, we'll pay your rent next month for all the items. Let us know. No negotiating. Best and final. We will pay the rent on your shitty little shoebox next month for all the items. And then I put them in like a house of cards type of stack with all the photos and DVDs and we... We watch it burn in slow motion. I'll get in contact with you. Then the next one is salute. I'm mean, sorry. She's out of control. In a she's out of control. Original VHS from the nineties. From a movie I had. Just selling all his old dead parent stuff. I have here a butterfly brooch with emerald and turquoise stones. The starting bid. $60. I have here a pair of Dr. Scholl's 
Therapeutic nighttime slippers. Worn by my mother with a slightly musty mothball scent. The starting bid is $60. I have here several hairs that I swept up from the last haircut I gave my father to save $25 down at Fantastic Shams. The starting bid is, you got it, $60. A little part in called She's Out of Control. I'll, She's I'll out of This one as well. I'll take a picture of me from the, the scene that I'm in, and I'll autograph that as well to you. So if you want the She's Out of Control item, I believe it's item number five. I'll print as many photos from as many things as you want. I'll print, I can print, my printer can do 22 pages per minute. And if you will save, I'll charge you less than Kinko's. Let's say you need 14 copies of your resume because you're doing a job search. Don't go to Kinko's, send me your resume. I print it out. I mail it to you with a copy of You've Got It All. Five or six. Watch the video back and figure it out. It'll be in the description. But if you want the She's Out of Control, VHS, and autograph photo, both of them, starting bid is $60. That's too much, Mikey. Man, I need to pay some bills. I still got to pay for shipping. My goodness, come on. Now, another VHS that I'm getting rid of is a movie I did with Chef Green called The Day My Parents Ran Away. That's right. There it is, the VHS from the 90s. I will autograph it. I will post a picture from the scene or two that I'm in, and I will autograph that photo as well. Again, I don't have Michael it. Ray's autograph is worth like $6. Pre-made, but I will make it. For the people that buy this. Ask him how much for a drop of his sweet, sweet, sugary, diabetic blood. No bit. How much for one drop of blood? I want it in a necklace like those creepy ones Billy Bob Thornton wears. Day My Parents VHS that I'll autograph as well. And starting bid for this one is, you guessed it. $60. He hates to see these goes. He he looks at them very sentimental. You see him stare down at it like, oh, man. So there it is. All the items. Again, I don't need to go over it. You've watched the video. It's been 14 minutes long. I appreciate you guys. All right. Hopefully all the correct information is down below for you to bid. And again, all you got to do is email me or hit me up in the DM. Write the item. It go down in the DM. It go down. Write, you know, salute your shorts, VHS, $70. Or, and then, you know. We, we know. know. I won't announce the winner. I'll allow three days for people to watch the video or see the post online. And I'll allow three days. So I'll announce the winner Monday afternoon. To the person that won, and then when I put my next product on my Monday evening video for everybody as well to know how much it went for. And oh, he's going to tell us. Okay? He's going to tell if, us. If you guys need a hint of the next item being sold, well. It's a jet ski. No, just kidding. It's going to be like, this is a jacket that I wore. On the set of Salute Your Sam. Script Delicious. Script Delicious. All right, guys. If you want to pick up a Zeke Diploma. We're all supposed to know what that means. Um, Stella B. I think this grift is bigger than we think. In a blind auction, one submits their best offer. I'll bet he has multiples of each item accepting the highest five to ten offers of each item. That's an interesting theory. 
I mean, he can clearly make more of the printouts of photos from stills from his computer. He's hooking up his Canon bubble jet printer. You know he's out of magenta. <laughs> so all the photos are just gonna gonna look like shit. I guarantee it's gonna be pretty bad. But yeah, that's an interesting theory. I do like that theory. It's like when people do like commemorative coins or limited edition China, only thousand available. It's like sure, sure, sure. Uh, all right, the debut of the Donkey Lips voice AI. Now, Conan has worked the text a little bit, assuming that I guess uh, the voice won't do the, the speech impediment. This could be awful. Let's, uh, let's together discover how bad this will be. This is my personal tape collection. You'll get a random VHS tape that could have anything on it. Maybe you'll see me saluting in my shorts. Know what I mean? Yes, you mean Onion Man. I have fucked. All that Hollywood street cred got me plenty of pushy. Plenty of pushy. Anyway, if you want something in my private collection, write your name and phone number on a playing card, mail it into my aunt's house, and she'll collect the cards and shuffle them all and randomly assign an item to you. Then she'll put it out on her porch and you can come pick it up like an eBay auction. Send in your mails now. The first 20 get a printout of my minimalist cooking ideas like one pot weenish and beach. <laughs> get out of my dish, dad. Weenish and beach. Reset. Okay, it's a uh, Tuesday. And on Friday, we checked in with Michael Ray Bauer, a.k.a. Donkey Lips, a.k.a. Mudstains, and he's having an auction. Things aren't going well. Michael Ray Bauer is now auctioning off personal items from his home. And when I say personal items, I mean personal DVD and VHS copies of movies that he had little parts in and bits in. And on Friday, I think he started his auction. His auction, by the way, is just email him if you're interested in any of the garbage you see around his apartment. So I think he was like doing like VHS movies. We talked about how worn and frayed the auction items were and disgusting they might be and covered in cum which we assume everything in his apartment is, except his dick. And he's posted three videos since then. Now, I, I'm not sure what's happening with the auction or the update. Um, let's dive into it now and see what happened with his auction. Uh, it was supposed to end on Sunday or Monday, I believe. And uh, we have three updates from Michael Ray Bauer. This one is... Three days ago, um, what's the date? June 17th. So four minutes long on the 17th. Today's the 21st. So that was, I mean, the 17th was what? Saturday? Okay. What's going on, everybody? First off, I'm coming to you on a Saturday, and I want to thank everybody that tuned in to what's going on on my channel through my social medias about the auction. I've gotten a lot of bids on multiple. Why does he go into the bathroom to do this? Every time he just got to go in the bathroom to record items and they're good. Thank you very much for say? the supportable items auction. I've gotten a lot of bids on multiple items and they're good. I've gotten a lot of bids on multiple items and they're good. Thank you very much for the support for all the bids. Remember, everything started at $60, right? That are coming in. I can't thank you enough for being a part of me, helping support. I can't thank you enough for being a part of me. You'll always be a part of me. I'm part of you indefinitely. 
and trying to get some merchandise and stuff like that. Like I said, the auction will continue all month. Look out for some more videos, some more products. I love that he launched the auction on the 16th of June, and he's like, it's going to be going all month, like except for the first half, right? That I'm selling to pay my bills. Speaking of bills, I just did like a commercial for my, that's my new sponsor, my good buddy Lance Kramer at Freelance Foods, and I did a taste test of his bourbon barbecue, sweet and smoky and spicy sauce. And even though they're a sponsor and a good friend of mine, I'm a food aficionado and I know barbecue sauces. This one is good. I'm a food aficionado. Perhaps you've seen me in my restaurant whipping up boiled chili hot dogs or toilet tacos. You might know me from such creations as Stovetop Tortilla Boy and Remember the time you made crock pot chicken and it just came out gray like like if you were to cube up parts of E.T.'s torso? <laughs> Seriously good. Um, really, really good. I'm going to do a, a taste test. Maybe I'll share that taste, those taste test videos now with you guys. Um, but it's damn good. Like, this ain't no joke. They got uh, rubs and spices and more flavors on their website, uh, freelanceflavor.com. Freelanceflavor.com. We're going to edit that out. No free plug. Check them out. All links will be down below. Hold on. What was on that? Freelanceflavor.com. Check them out. All links. It was like a note to him from the sauce makers, if anybody can grab that will be down below and um i'm gonna start cooking some food in the next couple weeks with their sauces and their rubs man and i mean what he doesn't have an oven much less a grill what is he gonna do with a rub uh imagine owning a sauce and rub company and picking him to be your sponsor the only thing he's rubbing is his little peen until his chair is coated with a shimmering glean. What what is he rubbing? What is he saucing? And I can't wait. I know it's a long taste test that I'm telling you guys about, but What? Man, this is seriously good stuff. It's a long taste test that I'm telling you guys about. What does that even mean? I don't even know what he's trying to say there. I am so impressed and so proud. Check them out, freelanceflavor.com. He always says, like, these guys are a sponsor, but I think it's like when Chad says Silk City Hot Sauce is a sponsor. It's like he helped sell four bottles, so he got a free bottle. They also got a website where they do taste test. People, like, send you a free bottle of sauce, and, the, and all these YouTubers will be like, they're our sponsor. They're our sponsor. They compare you know, foods, burgers, and, and all that. It's a fun website. It's called Flavor Frontier on YouTube, a channel. Go subscribe, like them. For a discount for their merchandise, look in my description below. Use code BOWERTIME. But honestly, it's seriously good stuff. Um, that being said, I wanted to thank a bunch of other people as well for supporting, watching my videos, and, 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 all, and just coming through. At a tough time in my life. Um, just like Lance, uh, Pandora's box toys and collectibles in New Jersey. Lance, Pandora's box toys and collectibles in New Jersey. Freelance flavor time. And Lance, Pandora's box toys what did it what <laughs> like what coming through at a tough time in my life um just like lance uh pandora's box toys and collectibles in new jersey uh thank you guys i appreciate you i love you 
And I just wanted to give you. Who's Lance Pandora? Is that somebody? Does anybody have uh, the power to Google Pandora's box toys and collectibles from New Jersey? <laughs> I, I I don't even. I don't know what that is. Somebody look into it. It's got to be. That's got to be something. You know. I don't know how he meets these people. I don't know how he gets them to uh, send him stuff and subscribe. I, you know what you need to get? Could could NLO sponsor him and get him some T-shirts? Because this Camp on a Wanna shirt is dirty, stained, has a hole in the belly. I mean, fix yourself up. We get him a new trucker cap. You got your quick little three or four minute video letting you know that the auction is going well. Got a lot of bids in for various items. Uh, winner will be announced Monday and have yourself a good weekend. Uh, that's all I can say. Watch the video, put in some bids if you're, if you're still interested. He's always signing off. He's one of these guys. This is how you know an idiot. This is a telltale sign of a dummy. They start signing off and saying goodbye about halfway through their video. And then they repeat everything they've said already over and over and over and over. They don't know how to sign off. They don't know how to leave. Just say all the stuff once. DK gifted a membership. Thanks so much, buddy. He'll, he'll just keep saying it over and over and over again. There's three minutes left, but he's, he's already saying goodbye. Watch the... I mean, I haven't even watched this, but I know... This is what retards do. They can't fucking wrap it up. And look for some more items on Monday or Tuesday. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. Thank you guys enough. And just to quickly update you on my life. While I'm not trying to make money to pay my bills, uh, I'm watching Community now. And I just finished the first season. And I'm a fan. Community is funny. Especially the first. What in the fuck? I'll never forget. I, I was talking to somebody recently and they said to me, I'm not even kidding you. In 2023, this just came up apropos of, out of nowhere. They go, hey, have you ever heard of this show called The Mindy Project? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. And then he's like. Oh my God, like it's so well written and funny. It's really funny. You should watch it. I'm like, first of all, that show's 10 years old. And second of all, no, no, Mindy Kaling? I'd rather not. I'd rather not. The only reason I could put up with her in the office is because she was always the heel. She was always somebody Ryan was just stiffing on the side. And once she got with Daryl, I didn't, I, you know, I can't even be involved in that. First season. It's really funny. Muñeca, Muñeca. Also, like, he's sitting around just binging full seasons of Community while he sells stuff to pay bills. Get a job. Get a job. You know, I, you're selling bootleg VHSs of movies no one's ever heard of get a job like the end the outros of every episode of community is pretty fantastic <coughs> that is a good show community so I'm looking forward to watching season two and beyond but dude community is really good I recommend it if you need a lot I mean, can you even imagine that it feels like a troll this feels like a troll Guys, check out Community. Have you heard of Community? It's fucking crazy. It's crazy. It's so meta. It's meta. Because comedy's dead. There's like no good comedy movies anymore, or you can't say and do things anymore. And, you know, it's... Bauer's one of those guys who's convinced himself that the reason he's not getting work is because he's too edgy. And he's unvaccinated. He really like goes around telling people like, yeah, I refuse to get the vac so Hollywood turn their backs on me.
Hollywood just refuses to play by my rules. All right, guys. Well, that's all for today's video. Like, subscribe, and come back again tomorrow. Uh, um, yeah. And then we will get those auctions going. Yeah, so anyways, again, all right, guys. Well, that's all for today's video. Like, subscribe, and come back again tomorrow. Uh, um, yeah. And then we'll get those auctions going. Okay, goodbye. Uh, all right, guys. Well, that's all for today's video. Like, subscribe, and come back again tomorrow. Get uh, it? Um, um, yeah. And then we will get those auctions going. And there's a show called New Girl that is hilarious. Okay, <laughs> there's a show called New Girl. It's hilarious. It's really bad. And Community has a lot of comedy, a lot of wokeness as well, but they use comedy around it. It's pretty good. Uh, that being said, love you guys. God bless. Have a beautiful Saturday. Thank you for- He's still got a minute left. You think he's wrapping up, but he's not. Being a part of my auction, supporting me, and I don't know what else to say. Go watch The Flash. I think The Flash comes out this weekend. The Flash? The Flash. These guys, you know, stop running around buying movies and stuff. I, I don't even. So I was looking around his YouTube and like the auction video is gone. The video we watched Friday of him promoting the auction. Because I wanted to go back and see like what he was selling. I kind of forgot. But he's taken the video down with all the auction items. But don't worry because on... Uh, the 19th, this is Monday, he put up this video called Do You Want a Autographed Donkey Lips T-Shirt? Here's How. Now, I thought the auction results were supposed to come out Monday, but this is what we got instead. Yo, what's going on, everybody? I'm coming to you guys with a unique offer that I didn't really even think about until somebody... Now, this is Monday. Remember, the other one was Saturday. This is Monday. He's wearing the same shirt. Saturday, he was wearing this shirt, and Monday, he's wearing the same shirt. And we'll be able to tell if it's actually the same exact shirt because it had a hole in the belly. So if he steps back a little bit, he might have never left this bathroom. He might have been camping out by this towel rack for two days. Requested it, and I figured out. Also, is someone trolling us every day he has a dumber hat on? <laughs> Are we not supposed to notice? Hey, maybe I can. Like Chad? Do this for other people since I need support and I'm trying to make a living off of my past. Hmm, you should make a living off of your future. But here goes, what happened was I'm selling items in an auction that you're probably currently involved in and somebody requested a donkey. He assumes all his listeners are currently bidding on his items. T-shirt, but they wanted it autographed. And I don't have any in stock because my merchandise store, link down below, prints the t-shirts and sells them and sends them to you guys. So I don't have them. But I did have my personal one oh, that I no. wear in a lot of the videos. Oh, no. And they requested an autographed t-shirt. What is that up there in the... What is this? Is that a stain or... What is that? He's selling shit out of his dresser drawers now. And they paid a good amount of money for it for a, let's call it a game worn t-shirt and game worn. What's the game? Toilet taco invitational. I'm going to send it to them. Why not? Why not do that? It'll also come. He, he's also getting a, Autographed Donkey Lips photo. Links down below if you want to pick up one of these in my merch store. And I was like, I can do that with other people. You might not get a worn one, you know, with my BO and my sweat. Maybe this person likes that stuff. I don't know. Chili stains and cum. Maybe it's like a football jersey or a baseball jersey. They want it video worn. But hey, that only up to the price of it. I won't give out those details, but if you guys want an what? autographed t-shirt like this one, like a donkey lips 
on a Wanna Garbage Pelt Kid parody shirt autographed to you or a Camp on a Wanna one that's... He's literally just selling stuff out of his dresser drawer. He's literally just selling garbage out of his drawers. This is getting... Available in my merch store as well. Or a Zeke the Plumber t-shirt. These are so limited right now. They're almost sold out. Can't even... You just said everything's printed on demand and mailed to the customer. How are they so limited they're sold out? You know, I gotta see this guy's merch numbers. I'm a merch, I'm a merch uh magnate. You know what I mean? Nobody merches without me finding out it. You hear that, Mersh? But if you want an autograph one of these shirts, go ahead. <laughs> if you want to autograph one of these shirts, go ahead. Go ahead. I dare you. And um order one. But order it from me personally. Again, if you order it through the merch store, it'll be sent to you. Then you'd have to send it to me. Then I'd have to autograph it and send it back. And I don't have a P.O. box and I'm not giving out my address and stuff. But um, here's how it'll work. If you, I mean, what the fuck? Yeah, because again, a P.O. box is, I just renewed mine. It's $250 for the year. Minimum. So he ain't got no P.O. box. He's got a B.O. box, but that's just what he calls his apartment. You want an autographed T-shirt, hit me up in the DM or on email. Links down below for my social medias and my DMs. It go down and in the DM. And go down. let me know the shirt you want, whether it be a Zeke the Plumber shirt, a Donkey Lip shirt, a Camp on a Wanna shirt, and let me know your size or wh whatever size you want me to order. And what I'll do is I will order the shirt from my store on my end. Then it'll be shipped to me. Imagine the thing about dumb people is like, imagine even like revealing this to your customer. No one cares how it works on the back end. You know, so you'll, you guys purchase, normally you purchase a shirt and it gets sent to you. So now what will happen is you guys want to autograph shirt, you order, you send it, you just tell me, and I'll tell you, you Venmo, the shirt, and then you, and you just tell, instead of sending it to you, they'll send it to me, and now I'll cut out the middleman, and I'll, I'll autograph it, and I'll send the shirt to you, it's like, yeah, fine, whatever. Just say, if you want an autographed shirt, let me know. They're ten dollars more, like what or whatever it is. Holy shit! Holy shit! You know, I I, I can't imagine going to McDonald's and then being like, "Yo, we're out of our normal apple pies." Right now, we only have the chocolate pies. We normally have the apple pies, but today we're replacing all the apple pies with the chocolate pies. So sorry about that. So just so you know, if you order a, an apple pie, you'll get a chocolate pie. So don't be upset when you look down and it's not an apple pie. It's going to be a It's like, we heard you. We get it. Fuck. Fuck, dog. Here is some of the items on my auction. Remember to bid, you have to send me a self-addressed stamped envelope with your bid written on the back. I'll mail you back the envelope with a no or a yes inside. If it says yes, then send me another one with your address inside and I'll ush that address to send it to you. The item check for auction, inflatable unicorn horn for catch. Shock shorting machine, portable pizza oven for bicycles, talking toilet paper holder, superhero cape for goldfish, shelf stirring coffee mug with built in alarm clock, <laughs> bacon scented air freshener, solar powered toothbrush, which I ushed, remote controlled wig for Dolkage, USB powered tissue box holder with LED lights. <laughs> what the fuck? A USB powered 
tissue box holder with LED lights. And then I'll autograph it, take a video, as certificate of authentic authenticity for you guys and send it to you on DM. I'll autograph it and send it to you as a on video as a certificate of authentic authenticity. Oh no. Oh no. That's not really Donkey Lips and signature. Oh yeah? Watch this video. He signed it live. <laughs> and I'll keep you updated during the entire process. But I imagine that. I don't like that's even funnier. I'll keep you updated through the whole process. Hey, Bob, I ordered your shirt. It's coming soon. Hey, Bob, just got an update for the tracking number. Your shirt should be here today. Hey, Bob, just grabbed your shirt. It's here. Bob, quick update, signing your shirt later on stream. Hey, Bob, I just signed your shirt. Hey, Bob, just finished signing your shirt. Tomorrow, I'll be sending out your shirt. It's today, I'm going to be sending out your shirt. Hey, Bob, just sent out your shirt. Did you get my message about sending out your shirt? Thanks for all the updates. I'll, I'll order the shirts, get them sent to me. He's doing then, it. He's explaining it again. He's explaining it again. He's starting the explanation. So again, it'll come to me. We heard you. I'll autograph it, take a video, ah! then I'll ship ah! it out to you guys because ah! I got your address. But the money has to be up front because I don't have money. To the money has to be up front. It's got to be worth it on my end. <laughs> it won't be like all my other store items where you just say you want them and then it comes to you and you can pay 300 days later. This is totally different. Money up front. It's like, so normal rules? I love it when people explain that everything's going to be working normally at this at this juncture, you know? Like, uh, you ever get to, like, a uh, a traffic light and it's, like, all traffic must stop on red and it's just, like, e yeah. yeah, 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 normal rules. Thanks for the sign, you know what I mean? I, I, I don't, you know, traffic cannot turn left on red arrow. It's, like, right, right, yeah, I passed my driving test. I got it. Normal rules. Order a bunch of shirts that might not even sell. And, um, but I'll keep you updated along the process. Keep me updated. Still haven't sold any. And so I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say. We don't. So if there's any confusion, let me know in the descriptions or DMs or email, and I'll try to answer all your questions. But... But just so you know, I'll probably explain it seven more times in this video. If you want a shirt, hit me up on DM or social media or email. And um, let me know that you're interested in a certain shirt and the then, size you want. Then what will happen? And and whatever. Now, now for the big thing. Now for the big thing. Here's what we've all been waiting for. What's the price? Oh. Well. Shirts cost a little bit differently depending on which one you get. You also get an autograph photo, and I got to charge you for the autograph. Long story short, it's going to be... I got to charge you for the autograph. Believe me, I didn't want to charge for the autographs, but then my manager came to me, and he was like, Hey, Donkey Lips, are you giving out all these autographs for free? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, you got to charge. You got to charge for these autographs. $120 for the... Holy shit. Holy shit. Hold on. You could get an autographed VHS that personally belonged to his collection and two autographed photos for $60. He's trying to get you to pay $120 for a t-shirt that costs 20 in his store? Because of the autograph?
the fuck out of here. Did I just hear it right? There's no way. A hundred and twenty dollars. Wind that back. No fucking way. Depending on which one you get, you also get an autograph photo, and I got to charge you for the autograph. Long story short, it's going to be $120 for the entire set. You get a video presentation. You get a certificate of, of authenticity video. You get the T-shirt autographed by me. You get a photo or two, a document parody card, and... He doesn't even know what comes in it. A photo or two? All for me. So I think that's worth it. If you're willing to fork up 120 This whole thing started with like, does anybody want an autographed t-shirt? Now it's like, you get the t-shirt, you get autographed photo or two, certificate of authenticity, video certificate of authenticity, you get a garbage pail kid card, a, a mini jar of my spunk. It's just on, you get a package of nine things because you wanted a t-shirt <laughs> it's like on and on and on you get one of my toes that fell off to the sugar you get on and on you get and then you get 20 bucks for an autographed shirt and a package with a with a photo a garbage pill kit i might you just bought a bunch of fucking photo paper it keeps printing out these photos like anybody gives a shit it's like literally like it's an assembly line of these autographed photos. They're worthless. We had a couple different extra photos on top of this. If I'm feeling nice. Great. We all want to buy things from you based on if you're feeling nice. Imagine if I did that. Like, guys, come on down to the store at nobodylikesonions.com slash store. Order yourselves a hat, a shirt, a mug. If I'm feeling nice, I'll send you the one you ordered. Otherwise, I just kind of reach down in my grab bag of bullshit and throw something together. So if you order a mug uh, from the store, nobodylikesonions.com slash store, you order a mug there, it's great. You'll get the mug, a hat, two shirts, an autographed photo, an NLO Frisbee, a can koozie, a coaster set. We've got mouse pads. I've got a uh, a pen. You're gonna want to want an uh, NLO pen. Just order the mug. One hundred and thirty eight dollars for the mug. <laughs> it's like, don't try to, don't try to package together a bunch of other shit laying around your house, and you know shoe shoehorn it into this shirt deal. <laughs> like what the fuck? He's like, you order a shirt. Normally, shirts are twenty dollars. You pay me three hundred. You get a knob from my oven. You get a broken, a broken uh, GI Joe that I was gonna throw away. <laughs> like it's just like we don't care. We don't care. Stickers, a garbage pail kid, inkjet printer photos. Come on. Just get to it already. But pick any shirt you want. Pick any shirt you want. Zeke the Plumber, Anawana Garbage Pail Kid shirt, Camp Anawana shirt, and we'll get that out for you. I want to start just order one of his old bath towels. Don't even wash it. Send me something you've dried yourself with, Donkey Lips. That's what I want. $120, guys, but it might take <laughs> up to... Five weeks for you to get the five fucking weeks. Five weeks. You know, you order NLO merch, you order MLC merch, you all have it within a week, sometimes within a few days. Let's say a week, a week to him, he autographs it and sends it to you. Another week, two weeks max. Five weeks. Five fucking weeks. How long does it take this sloth to get to his P.O. box? Entire package because I have to order it at the store. They have to send it to me. That might take. He's explaining it all again. 
He is not explaining it all again. So I order them. Then they send them to me. We know. A couple of weeks. Then I have to autograph it, package it up. And Holy shit. This is like the sixth time he's explained the process. I can't. You wonder why these guys never get anywhere. It's like, Jesus. And get all that ready and then <laughs> ship it out on a delivery service. That might take another couple weeks or a week and a half. And then what? it'll be delivered to you before five weeks. But I'm trustworthy. I'm good for it. The money has to be up front. But I promise oh, no. I'm a good guy. I don't. This sounds like Chad trying to convince you to send him his address. You can trust me. I'm the mud shark. Just Venmo me your dollars. I'll get it out to you. How are you? I don't think I cheat anybody. <laughs> Who knows? But um, long story short. Jesus Christ, a little long for that. If that's something that interests you guys, besides the auction that I'm dealing with and going on with, hit me up on an email or in my socials or in my private messages or DMs. Let me know. There's nine places you can get a hold of. What shirt you're interested in, and we'll go from there. I will keep you updated the entire process. Just ask the person that ordered this one. He ordered it only a day ago, and I, he's had like 10 messages from me because I worry and I care and I want to get everybody. This sounds like Chad. This does sound like Chad. You sign up for his $3 Patreon, you get 10 messages. Hello, how are you? Thank you for signing up. Don't leave. Please never leave me. If you do leave, I'll be messaging you. Was it something I did? Is there something I can do to bring you back? Hello, we're doing it. How are you? Body out, and I had to lie down because my body needed rest. What? I got to hear that again. And I care, and I want to get everybody out and i had to lie down because my body needed rest i had to lie down and watch 17 episodes of community about it and i wasn't able to get it out yesterday when he ordered it so i'm getting it out today but um i'll keep you updated so if, if that interests any of you guys a personalized autographed shirt of any kind from my merch store down below in the links hit me up on email dms and we'll go from there Again, you have to same with you guys. If anybody wants an autograph shirt from my store for $120, no problem. Uh, it will take a little longer because what will have to happen is I'll order it from the store and they'll send it to me and then I'll autograph it. You'll get a video <laughs> and then I'll have to get it out to you. 17 weeks minimum. But that is available, $120. Again, it'll just have to come to me, and then I'll autograph it with some sort of a signing apparatus or a pen, as you might call it. And then I'll have to box that up because they don't let you just throw a shirt at the mailman. So I'll put it in a container or a box, and then I'll send that out to you, and then a man will come take it from me and it goes on a series of conveyances to reach you at your location. Then you'll open it up and you'll be like, wow, this is the thing that I ordered. And I can't believe it came with all these stickers and brine shrimp. Because we include sea monkeys with every order. Um, but it takes a while because uh, when I order the shirt, it has to come to me first to sign it to get to you. But I'll sign it. It'll be legit. I'm a trustworthy person. I have I don't have a a Grand Theft Auto record and then I'll ship it out to you. You have a lot of choices for shipping. There's UPS and FedEx and UPS and USPS and DHL and and all and on track. You know, there's a lot of the companies, but they get they bring the shirt to me and then I sign the shirt and then I'll put the shirt in a box. It's like okay. We got it. You're selling shirts. Fucking hell. I'll buy one. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Holy shit. Holy shit, sir. Maury Memento and Edinburgh Mikey are in charge of the likes today because 
we're giving Scotland a shot. So get those likes up. Make sure you're hitting like. Make sure you're sharing the show. Make sure you're donating. Make sure you're buying a membership. Make sure you're buying autographed shirts from Donkey Lips. If you send in your proof of purchase of an autographed shirt from Donkey Lips, then you get a, a bonus in your autographed shirt from me. But you have to hold up. You have to make a certificate of authenticity of your shirt from Donkey Lips to prove to me that you own a Donkey Lips authentic for your authentication video to the portal. And then we verify and upload and confirm. And then I get a shirt and then you get, it's like, okay. Oh, okay. pay through PayPal or Venmo, but it'll, it'll be $120 regardless of the shirt or size. And yeah. All right. Check out my merch store. I appreciate you guys for just supporting me. Because I'm really, 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 really doing my best. Trying to put in whatever this is called. If this is called work, I'm putting in this work. It's not. Love you guys. I'll see you in another video. And please continue on my social media and my channels for more items coming soon from the auction that is currently going on till the end of, of June. There's more items coming soon from the current auction going on? How do you list more items from a current auction? I can't. I love you guys. Any questions? You love me? I, you know, come on. This is getting, I'm starting to hear like a desperation in his voice that I don't like. And then his last video, the last video we've heard from him, again, the auction video has vanished now. And then this is his last video that he put up. It's called, I'm Freaked Out. And I guess this is where he's going to explain what happened with the auction. And it doesn't sound good. It's, it doesn't sound like it went well. Am I coming in clear? Hey, Mom, am I coming in clear? That's from uh, Mike TV from Willy Wonka, right? What's going on, everybody out there in YouTube land? Friends of mine, fans. Am I coming in clear? of mine i can't even believe some people like me i can't even believe some people like me it's always a great start it's always a great start resting his body binging community and drinking barbecue sauce it's a full time get you it's a wawa summer i know there's a lot of people that hate me but there's some people that like me and i'm here to say i love you too i thank you very much you're amazing you're beautiful and yeah, all the good things. Happy post-Father's Day. I'm not a father that I know of. That old bit. Imagine him having loose seed out there rolling around. But I have had some interesting encounters. Has he fucked? This is a good question. Are we dealing with a virgin here? And I do have a, a story, too, actually, where I should have been a father what the fuck also this freeze frame i mean that should be a phone case i have a couple stories where i should have been a father it's like yikes and women's rights got in the way of that what the fuck I should have been a father, but women's rights got in the way of that? You can call me Nannerpuss, Nannerpuss, and guess what? I love Nannerpuss. Okay, I've got to hear this. <laughs> I don't want to get political, but it's a sad story for men. Okay that want to be fathers. <laughs> Men don't have a choice. Why can't I just use that briefcase you call a uterus for nine months? What's the big deal? Why don't men get a say? 
with the woman's body. Men don't get a choice with the woman's body. Holy shit. That want to be fathers. <laughs> Men don't have a choice with the woman's body. Where where would the kid sleep? I'm sorry. Donkey Lips wanted to be a dad, but all the women were like, you and what? Child support, you know, like what? You don't have a house, Bauer. How many VHS tapes are you going to sell for diapers? How many how many autographed shirts are we talking about you pushing out here? He wants to be a dad. Beloved Chatter says he's taking such good care of his body. I think we should let him make choices for women. I mean, holy shit. Holy shit. What a crazy little way to start this auction video. <laughs> All right, we'll leave it at that. Everybody, <laughs> uh, hit that thumbs up, that like, that subscribe button. Um, I'm in a little bit of a good mood today because I had a great weekend. Even though it was stress-filled, I had to relax a lot. I watched Community. <laughs> That was a great, great... My weekend was stress-filled. I had to relax a lot. My weekend was stress-filled. I had to relax a lot. Time. I love community. I know that show is so witty. And it's so... That's, that makes sense. Witty from 10 years ago is about the level that blows Michael Bauer away today. Humorous. And every episode is like something uniquely different and it's well made and a good i mean he is really really loving community he cannot get over this tv show community mind blown a friend of mine bill parks he's in the first two seasons in like five episodes he's the redhead kid with the red beard and and boy it's a great show all right, let's talk about the auction, and then I'll get into what I'm going to do in the upcoming days. And the auction, I had a lot of bids. What do I consider a lot? At least four or more. <laughs> okay. For, for most of the items, not every item. Um, and again, we have winners. And they've been announced. They've been. So if you are a winner, check your email or your DM. And you you got the instructions on to pay. And we'll start the process of shipping and handling and all that. So you got you got till uh, Tuesday, till tomorrow to pay. Then. Uh, if the third video in a row, he's wearing this Camp on Awana shirt. He never showers. Bauer don't shower. Am I right? These lights will guide me home. If they haven't paid yet, the people that won that got notified, if they haven't paid by Tuesday, then it goes to the second highest bidder for that individual product. Um, so the... I don't mind announcing the winners, but there are second place people that. So hold on. People bid on the items, but they haven't paid yet. That's what he's saying. Are still in case the first winner doesn't pay. It's an interesting process, this auction. I probably should have done it on like. An auction website. An ulterior platform. I mean, you didn't do it on any platform. So just a platform. Doesn't have to be ulterior, although I don't think you know what that means. But I don't know how to do it that way yet. Plus, I ha I like to cut out the middleman. I can't figure out eBay, so I just did it all over DM. So I can get as much money for support as I can. And so I did it like through PayPal and Venmo and emails, and it's a lot of work. And I wish it was more There's simple. Four bids on everything. I imagine you were up all night biting your fingers. And I'm sure it is. I um, thought they were chili dogs. Other platforms. I'm just not that smart. But let's just give you guys the lowdown for a split second. So 
the Willie's DVD got a winning bid of over a hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, and there were people on here saying, "Oh, I, I submitted so much money for 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 that item, you know," and he's not even contacting me. Again, the winners were announced late last night after 9 o'clock, which is midnight, which I said would be on Monday. And I didn't get those bids. The people that were writing down below, oh, I offered this amount of money for this item. So people in the comments are trolling him. They're saying, I offered more. Why didn't I win when they didn't really offer more? You know? Uh, ball powder, Jesus, David Skywalker, his whole body is a triangle. Whose isn't, you know? Let the first one of us cast stones who's got stones. I I didn't get the, that bid. Uh, I got bids from a bunch of other people for each, for different items. But, Hold on, our bids, Twinkies? You know, the one person that said $500, I didn't get that bid. I got close to that amount on one of the items as well and somebody paid almost five hundred dollars for one of these items and that person won again i couldn't even find the video where he was like promoting the because i forgot what items he was selling and he's taking that video down so you can't even see what he had up for sale check your emails uh and we'll go from there but uh the what was it the, the willies sold for more than 150 dollars the willies uh to a gentleman, I think his name is Dino, Dino, Dino. Wilma! And he paid me with the quickness after he was announced the winner. Dino paid me with the quickness. And then, again, we got other people that haven't um, responded yet. They got till tomorrow. Then the second place person gets the bid, um, and we'll talk to them. Uh, and then the, well, I should have the items in front of me. I'm that bad. Okay. Or, so the Willie's DVD, the second item, uh, or VHS, sorry. Second or third item was the salute your shorts home recording of episodes with commercials. Oh yeah. The remember he video recorded off television with commercials on a blank tape. Salute your shorts episode. So if you want. If you want to spend all day adjusting the tracking on your VCR, also going out and buying a VCR, um, that'll be great. Uh, that one I sold as well to a, or the winning bid was Chris Lehman. And I'm going to be honest, it, it was over uh, 400 bucks. Over 400 bucks for a bootleg of of salute your shorts episode on a on a VHS tape over $400 so 150 for the other one he said so he's at 550 but again that person hasn't responded yet oh so that could be a troll too hold on so none of these people have responded yet oh no the one guy Dino paid with the quickness remember but this guy, $400, hasn't replied. <laughs> so it might not be real. People are fucking with him. So that's the trouble with doing this, where you don't really know if they're legit or not or whatever. They aren't. But, hey, live and learn. Um, and then the gag reel for Salute Your Shorts and the original pilot VHS both were bid for more than 175 bucks. I'm sorry, more than 200 bucks. Um for each. Wow. I'm sure none of these are lies. He sounds like movie, just moving the goalposts about money. Over 175 or two, maybe 200, I think, probably, right? Each item. And, um, yeah, that, that winner, I should have wrote it down. But, uh, that winner has been notified. So this is the video you're making to give out the results of the auction, but you don't know what items you were selling or who won them. The two things you needed to reveal in this video, you don't have that information and you're like, I should have wrote it down. It's like, yeah, that's the video you're making. 
you're making a video about the auction results. Maybe you should, you know, have the auction results with you. And I'm still waiting on payment on a few of these people. And for the winner. And again, there's only three auction things. There's only there's only three items. You're still waiting on payment for a few of them. That's all of them except Dino with the quickness, whatever that means. Patrick Onion, I, I think you misunderstood my political piece on women's rayettes. When I was a, a teen Hollywood star, I watched knocking up girls left and right. When they woke up from their drug stupor, they went right to the clinic. I didn't have a shay in it because, well, of women's rights. I also have had to revise my method for de delivering a shine shirt. You want to get a carrier pigeon and a microscope using a needle dipped in ink, tattoo what shirt you want on the eyeballs of the pigeon and shed it free. When the pigeon finally finds its way to my home, may take up to 20 years, I will decode the order from the eyeballs and transcribe it to my website, send it to your home. I will also print out a separate iron uh. on transfer with my signature on it. I will send you that. And once you get both the shirt and the transfer, Simply iron my signature onto your shirt. <laughs> Simple, easy peasy. Everybody can have an autograph. Jesus fucking Christ. Congratulations. If, if I wrote you that you're in second place, if they don't pay for that item, then you're in second place. You're going to get an email or a DM. And we'll start the process with you. So he's already he's already anticipating people flaking out, and he's contacting the second place winners, saying, "Hey, there's a chance, you know, that the top four bidders are all trolls, so you got a shot in picking up that item if these people haven't paid by Tuesday, which is my deadline. So uh. if you're one of the people that check your email, that bid." Check your DM. Hey, are you one of those people who check your email? And look for a winning DM or email from me as soon as possible. And look for a winning DM or email. Keep your eyes open. If you miss it, sorry. If you miss it, sorry. Sorry. It's not like I have a whole box full of shit I'm going to be selling. Going to go to the second place bidder tomorrow. All right, that being said, again... I don't know if I'm doing all the right things with the auction. You're not. Uh, also, look at this. He's seven minutes into a 27-minute video. He's already given us all the auction results. I don't mind selling stuff that I think is, you know, personal to me. Some people think, ah, it's just stupid VHS or whatever. I don't mind selling stuff that's personal to me. It is a stupid VHS. It is. It's a movie nobody's even ever heard of before. The Willies. What the fuck is that? Salute your shorts. Uh, bootleg copies with uh, Saturday morning cartoons from some Nickelodeon marathon when you were eight. Your parents recorded it to show it around at Thanksgiving. Look, little Mikey Ray Bauer. He's going to be something one day, my Mikey. He's on the TV. Imagine the disappointment as his life just continued to rot. His father, who died a few years ago, probably thought, you know, by the time I die, my, I'll get to see my son have made it in Hollywood. But Michael Ray Bauer just sat around and rotted. He's gotten less and less and less work as time goes on. But those are like the original ones that I ever had, and there's no more of them. I know you guys think it's cheesy, but those are the original ones I ever had. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about your personal DVD you had. It's like the only copy I ever owned. It's like, oh, well, then I guess it's super valuable to me. <laughs> you know, for me, plus they get autographed. They come with photos. So I, I think again, he, he rips the movie to his computer, takes still frames, prints them out on his inkjet, autographs them. That's worthless. That is worthless. It's worth it um, for collectors. For other people that don't care about me or like anything, then ah, it's too much money or you're not worth it. That's fine. But this auction, it, I'm learning a lot. It's a lot of work. Um, I'm trying to do everything as professional as possible. He sold three items and had four bids. It's a lot of work. 
I need to keep laying down and watching Community. He started this up. I'm going to add a. I had a busy weekend. I had to rest a lot. <laughs> Possible writing instructions, and I have an overthinking brain. So I've been overthinking this too much. I know I have. Overthinking brain, a condition that only Bauer gets. And again, I get offers, and so far I get scared because I haven't had a, a response as to them being the winner for about a, a day now. It's only been a day, but... So out of all these auctions, only one person has paid. And he's getting nervous. He's already contacted the second place and notified them. He's getting nervous. People wouldn't have just bid on these items and, and have no intention of giving me money, would they? Doesn't seem like something the internet would do. But I get all freaked out and everything again. You know, so, hey, we'll see. And um, probably tomorrow, I'm going to put some more items on the auction. Um, I got to go through, rummage through some other stuff. Kind of been not rummaging through everything. Remember, I, I put the offer out there. If somebody bids on these items, get a hold of these Bauer items, win these auctions, send them into the P.O. box, which we... We have here, for your availability, Nobody Likes Onions, Kara Patrick Melton, 4948 Mountain Vista Street, number 13932, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89121. A couple people have been sending stuff by UPS or FedEx, which is fine, but it, it's a P.O. box, but you can send stuff FedEx or, or UPS. It's fine. They, they accept it. But you've got to put, I've had some issues with a couple packages You've got to put the number on there. That number at the end is not just for fun. <laughs> it's part of the address. you got to put that number, 13932, or they can't get the package to me, or it'll take forever. We got one in limbo right now that I'm trying to track down at the post office. But two times people from FedEx have sent stuff in, and they've not put that. you you got to put the whole address, guys. Even on the second address line, if you want to put box number 13932, whatever it is, you know, but you got to put the whole address, okay? Patrick just doxed himself per Bauer. What do you mean? How did I dox myself? Uh, you got to put the whole address, okay? But send it in and we'll burn this man's uh, personal belongings. That means so much to him, but he's got to sell them to pay bills. Somebody win one of these auctions and 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 get the stuff, you know. And it seems like it's easy because he's getting a lot of fake bids. He's getting a lot of fucking, you know. Thing that I want to sell, I know. Getting a lot of trolls. So I imagine you throw out a sixty-five dollar bid on this stuff. I have certain things in my mind, like props. Or things I took from the set or clothing. Things I took from the set, stolen merch. Or scripts or, as, like I said, the VHSs and whatnot. And um, some of them are packed up in, in my closet. And, I, and I, I'm kind of afraid to rummage through them, uh, you know, create a mess, create a lot more work. And then, then I have to... Yeah, you wouldn't want a mess in this fucking apartment. Jesus Christ. Put the items in auction again where I kind of don't want to get rid of some of them. Uh, but, you know, I'm doing it. People are like, hey, you're, you know, just tell us that you're quitting the auction already. You know, you're not responding. You're quitting. What? What is he talking about? He's mad at people who are bidding? I don't understand. I'm transparent AF. So the people that just, just yeah bidding three seventy five is free. <laughs> want to cause controversy and drama? My goodness, relax, relax. Yes, I have second thoughts. Everybody does. By the way, it's June in San Fernando Valley. It's hot. Why is he wearing like a winter hat in all these videos now? Sometimes I keep just moving it around its dome like a yard gnome. I get lazy. I want to go to sleep instead of putting the work. That's what I do. I want to go to sleep instead of putting in the work. And then somebody says, hey, you can't get a hold of him. You don't think He's I want to sleep? You think I want to get up, get up when that alarm goes off at two? Fuck no. 
wait till 10 o'clock at night. Well, that's mostly true, but when I'm on a really, really bad schedule, which I am 70% of my life, but I've been on a good schedule lately, waking up 5 o'clock in the morning. Um, problem is I don't put in all the work all day, um, but I'm doing better, and that's all I can say. What is the work? I don't know, you know, like mailing out these VHSs? What's the work? You know, every day I feel like I need 10 more hours in my day. Between doing the show, prep, putting the show out on other platforms, doing the graphics, social media, customer service for all the overdose issues, you know, answering Ryan's email about hats. Hey, do you guys have any of the black flex fit hats in XXL? I have a really big head and would like to get both hats. Thanks. Yeah, we have... We have tons of XXL hats. I just don't put them on the store. You got to email me for those. We have a lot of secret sizes that I don't make available on the store. You got to email me. You know why? I love work and I love emails. So, yeah, I got to create a promo code and you take it over there and you got to enter a password and we both turn keys and it unlocks the double XL hats. We make it really hard to get them. Because I thought that would be more fun. No! If it ain't on the store, we don't have it. <laughs> hey, do you guys have different shirts that aren't in the store? N no. No, we don't. Do you have other sizes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a lot of stuff we just haven't gotten around to putting up yet. No, the flex fit the flex fits only come in the two sizes: small, medium, large XL. Get yourself a large XL. Cut the back, put a little V in the back if you need to, and it'll expand more. I doubt you have too big of a head for that. Come on, I got a giant head. This one's loose on me. Do you guys have different sizes in the mugs? Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't think anybody would want it. I was really shy. But if you want one for you, wink, wink, nod, nod. Yeah. You guys don't have a secret menu? Yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking hell. Uh, no, Ryan, sorry. But try even a snapback. You know, you can adjust the size on it. I, I'm sick of te teaching people about hats. I think you'll be fine, but I don't know. And if you got a giant freak head, maybe just have a, a woman on Etsy sew you a custom something or other. Or Fearless. Maybe Fearless can weave something out of fabric and make you a custom head wrap. I don't know how it works. You know, battling with my depressions, my anxiety, whatever I battle with. Again, every day is a new day. I try I try as best as I can. Every that day, day is the winding road. But that's okay. Uh, so for the so for the items that sold again, in a couple of days we'll have a bigger update with that, and then hopefully, um, like every every couple of days or something, I'll put some more items for sale. Um, and you know the bigger ticket items will probably be around the end of the month. I haven't quit the auction. I have second thoughts every once in a while. And um, do I really want to let go of my only VHS copy of the Willies? I have second thoughts every day. But I'm not there yet. So don't think that I'm. But I'm still broke. So the auction is still on. Stopping or quitting. I just get lazy and I don't open up the boxes and. I don't film the video, but... Justin Kemple said, break out the goblets. Thanks for being an Overdose Light member. Whatever, we'll figure it out. But here's my option, guys. Um, I'm not saying I'm having trouble with the auction because they still have time to pay, you know, or respond or whatever, but like... So it sounds like this is going bad. It sounds like people are bidding on stuff and not paying him, <laughs> which is... You know, uh, of course this was going to happen a little bit, but how did he not see it coming? And now he's starting to panic because I bet he started 
spending that money in his head. He got a $400 bid for something, and he's like, oh, boy, I'm going to get the new Oculus. I'm thinking, is it better to, like, make a page on my merchandise store that says, like, garage sale or personal items or make a category called auction items, even though it's not an auction? But, you know, just take a picture. Guys, if I make a section on the NLO store called garage sale and just start listing things laying around the studio, does anybody want this salsa? You know, I got a jar of Carla's salsa here. An original copy of the of the Butch Bradley incident. This is an original copy. <laughs> I got a I got a I got a bottle of Insure here sent in by a fan. Anybody? Anybody? Jeff Closer's Insure. <laughs> Picture a description of that item and then put it in my merchandise store. I got some old balsa wood in my garage, just some planks of balsa wood, anybody? You know, and the, but only, and I put it at whatever price I want. But I, I wanted to maximize the value and get more offers, but I don't think the website does that. Um, but like- He cannot figure out how to make an auction. He's lost. If only there were some software or website service that would allow people to bid. But I don't think we have the technology yet. It goes regular website, $6 million man, and then eventually we'll get around to how to make an auction website. But we, I'm pretty sure we don't have the tech. It might be easier for me because I don't really know how to work all Computers, the time. I don't really know how to do all this technology. stuff. Technology. Um, it might be easier for me just to put whatever prop or clothing or whatever in a picture on my merch store in a folder or something or in a category that says yeah like, in a folder put it in a folder on your merch store garage shell and then you guys check my merch store every day or two and then that the first person yeah that, what a fantasy this guy's in you guys check my merch store every day right that wants that item they just buy it straight away he doesn't want to pay eBay. He's, yeah, but there's a million other ways to do it. You buy it from my merch store. And, and then, you know, but that's why I tried to do the auction. So other people would have, a, you know, um, the, the ability to get it. So you could make the most money. We know. We get it. You're poor. Somebody takes it from them. <laughs> I don't know. Long story short, guys, I'm learning daily. Long story short, but he's not halfway done with this video yet. I'm trying to figure it out. Thank you. Some people sent me suggestions on how to do all of this. And I thank you. They sent me auction websites and stuff like that. And I, I thank you so much for your feedback, your fandom, and your love. All right. <laughs> I'm not going to be doing any of that. There's a lot of technical mumbo jumbo I didn't really understand. But thank you for your feedback. It's all love. So you guys know what's going on with the auction that I'm trying to do. Now, let's get to some good news. Okay. Now that we've talked about the auction, let's get to some good news. I guess he considers the auction bad news because nobody's paying, except for the one guy, Dino, with the quickness. <laughs> Again, tomorrow or Wednesday. Dino paid me right away with the quickness. I like to get paid with the quickness. I'm going to put some more items up in a video, so stick around for that. Please follow me on all my socials. Links will be down below. Uh, if you want to pick up merchandise, like I, I still got on the Camp on Awana t-shirt. We know. Uh, they've been selling really good. And um, I think I put out a video if you want to buy an autographed shirt. It's kind of. Like I think I put out a video. Everything's foggy to me between the laying down and the community binging. Like the auction, you have to buy it from PayPal or Venmo, and then I gotta buy the shirt, they gotta send it to me, then I- Oh no, he's in this loop again. I autograph it, then I send it out to you guys. It's a long process, but if you guys wanna do that, buy one- It's not, it's not. It's one extra step of, of buying a shirt online. Buying a shirt online and having it come to you is the normal process. 
buying an autograph shirt and having it come to me. That's all I need to know. How you do it on the back end. You know, Bauer's like, it's got to, a lot of people have to sign off <laughs> to make this happen. These donkey lips or, you know, Camp Anawana, Zeke the Plumber autograph shirts. Um, the instructions are in that video. I'll leave it in the, the, the description below. All right, whatever. And not whatever, but whatever. so much in my head. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, I don't think there's so much in your head. Stuff, man. Um, kind of freaking out, guys. I'll probably title this video I'm freaking out because um, I've gotten a lot of feedback did. from people that I trust and I respect and, and I love and, and I consider friends or, you know, whatever. And they're just... They're giving me, like, criticisms on my videos and my depression, oh, no. my anxiety, because I tend to talk to you guys in a depressed state oh, or no. an anxiety state or a stress-filled state, oh, or I, no. I tend to tell you all my problems. Um, I kind of, I kind of like, use you guys as therapy. Um, and the truth is, like, I understand it's not really warranted, and it's not a good look for me. Everybody wants to see the fun field, Mikey, or Michael, or, you know, Don Clips, whatever you call me. Everybody wants to see the good health, the good... Remember when he said that if you come up to him and call him Don Lips in person, he won't even... He doesn't like that, and he won't respond to you. He's like, I'm an actor. I'm Michael Ray Bauer. Don Lips is a character. Don't approach me and call me Don Lips. It's like, mm, we're going to call you Don Lips. You're Don Lips. To us, you're Don Quixote. You have to understand, no one knows you from anything else. Sorry. And every time you pop up in something, you have a, you know, you guest on a, an episode of Two Broke Girls, we go, holy shit, Donkey Lips was on Two Broke Girls. We only know you as Donkey Lips. So it's not disrespectful. Spirits, the, the fun, the laughing uh, of Michael. And unfortunately, I can't give that to you guys on, you know, every day of my life. Every day is different, and I'm also dealing with a lot right now. I'm dealing with a lot every day. But it's always, it's just one of those guys that, like, has nothing going on, but they're always telling you how much they got going on. I'm dealing with a lot right now. I had to lay down a lot this weekend. Remember, he started things like, I had a busy, stressful weekend. I had to rest a lot. It's like, did you have three things you had to mail out? Holy shit. You need to lay down? Uh, a lot of stress right now. He doesn't work. He's not acting at all. He's binging whole seasons of community. It's uh, We're all supposed to feel sorry that he can't pay his bills? It's like, if this couldn't pay my bills, I'd be looking for a job. If this couldn't pay my bills, I'd be, you know, working at Popeye's Chicken. I would free apple pies or chocolate with my family so prayers for my brother he 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 was hospitalized um close to death your brother was hospitalized close to death <laughs> <laughs> you know I thought you don't talk to your brother I thought he was estranged now it's like your brother was hospitalized close to death it's like take out a life insurance policy and solve two problems with one bird <laughs> and now he's recovering but it's his fourth time in a detox rehab facility. What a pussy. Just end it. Four times? Get out of here. You're wasting everybody's energy. You know. Can someone explain to me what happens to people like Donkey Lips once they're elderly? Do they go into a government-run home? Yeah, I imagine at some point the state takes over, although he's in California, so he'll probably just be allowed to grab his three most valuable VHS tapes and live out on the street because California thinks that homeless people are cool. And 
just prayers, okay? It ain't no joke. It ain't no joke. Citizen M says, I feel sorry for him. I'm sorry. Look, I feel sorry for him a little bit too, but what can we do to help as the onion? But um, in case you're watching, I'm proud of you for now doing a 90 day treatment after, you know, your life was saved by the grace of God. And oh, boy. Let's just find I feel like these should have been two videos. Imagine doing this like a, all right, guys, here's the auction update. And then my brother tried to take his own life, and he's in a facility. It's like, maybe break those up. Different vibe. Also, didn't he start this whole segment by going, and now some positive news. My brother's in a facility. He did the auction stuff, and then he said, and now let's do some good news. And then moved on to his brothers in a facility and by the grace of god get well soon you know it's like this is the positive news please edit these videos better you got to break them up i'm coming here to learn if i won an auction you announced the winners kind of i guess but nobody paid except for dino with the quickness with the quickness this guy Dino paid with the quickness. <laughs> your life. Let's find your life again. Death of a alcohol. whalesman. Jesus. Alcohol and drugs are no joke. Alcohol and drugs are no joke. It's like, w w neither are toilet tacos, you know? What are you infected with that's got you all swollen? <laughs> like, you know. All right. Woo! Enough of the sad. On to the glad. I mean, you already said that. You said moving on to good news. But again, like, break these videos up. I, I don't want to come here to learn about my auction and then have all this happen. <laughs> what is that? The gorgeous ladies of Russia? No, that's glow. <laughs> glad is like a, a alphabet community. Okay. Whatever. But, uh, so what was I saying? He catches himself, try, you know, he's trying to be this right-wing guy, and he catches himself constantly, like, all right, I don't want to get into the glad stuff. Yeah, so I've been getting a lot of feedback, um, you know, basically judging me. Is he hugging telling himself? Telling me how the videos and everything I post on Instagram or YouTube, not everything, but, like, it's not good. It's not good for me. It's not good for my so-called career it's not good for my image it's not good for me personally people want to shy away if i ever call them because they watch me depressed in a video so they think i'm going to talk to them on the phone and all i'm going to do is relay all my problems whatever yeah i mean if if michael ray bauer shows up on your caller id what are you thinking you're going to take that call but the visualization of who i am is really really bad my image and um I got to change it. I know I do this every, every year or two, but I got to change it. I just, not saying that I'll become fake, but I, I got to stop presenting my problems to you guys. I got to stop being transparent. From your mouth uh, to God's ears. Because it's always used against me in some form or another by, you know, other hosts of shows or this, or my friends or or whatever you know and then they use not that it's an excuse but they say we're only looking out for you because we care about you judging people to set to a standard that maybe you live by or your image so maybe you don't make tacos in your toilet does that make me not a human if you prick me do i not have blood that leaks out and immediately crystallizes into sugar. <laughs> Is your view of a person from the offset? Yeah, it's not good. I wish people would just be there for me instead of judging me. You know, oh, hey, you know, why are you depressed? Or, oh, boy. Why are you sad or, or whatever? Like, do you want to talk about it? Of course I get people like that. But sometimes I, when I see people, they don't ask me that stuff. They just say, hey, I saw your video. Are you a sidle? 
Are you a sidle? It's not good for your image. It's not good for your career. That's why you're you're not making money. That's why you're not getting more subscribers on YouTube. Nobody wants to watch that bullshit. It all hurts. Everything I hear, it all hurts. But I, I, I understand some of the points. I get it. And I know it. I'm a, I'm a smart enough guy to know that I'm stupid. But, uh, you know. <laughs> so, um, I got to change. Um, so I'm going to try to put together a plan this week to hopefully try to only post you know, I gotta, better content, more stories. Does this sound familiar? Uh, I'm going to have to. So I got to change. You know, I got to change. And I know it. I got to change. Like, I, I'm, I'm the only person that controls me swinging back. So I'm going to be swinging back. So on my career, you know, and, and sell up all the TV shows and, 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 and movies and wear T-shirts. You know, Not that I'm a sellout. But I got to use my past career. I got to start wearing T-shirts. I got to start wearing T-shirts. <laughs> you know, it's time to change. Maybe I go for a button-up. Maybe a Henley. You know, maybe I just start wearing three-piece suits around town like Tommy and C-2010. You know, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to let this play. I got to go piss. I'm going to let this play because it's long as fuck. Tell me if I, uh, tell me if I miss anything good. Mori Memento, Edinburgh Mikey, you're in charge of the likes. Logging Road King, you're in charge of the super chats. And everyone else, you're in charge of each other. Keep an eye out. Make sure it's uh, positive. Keep it fresh. I'll be right back. Here to make me money because it's one of the only things that's helping me make some money right now because I'm not the type of person that can really handle a real job right now. I could handle a real job if it's something I liked and I could handle with my health and my brain and all my situations. Um, so I'm, I'm going to try to treat it more like a job, the YouTube thing and Instagram and Facebook. I might be deleting a bunch of things. And, you know, I'm going to start posting, hey, look at me here, wearing my new clothing from, you know, DKNY. Hey, follow me on Instagram. I'm a model. I'm a this. I'm a that. Hey, guys, I got a new Salute Your Shorts podcast. <laughs> hey, I'm at the Museum of Natural History. I never go out. Hey, I'm in front of my pool wearing a bikini. I'm in George. <laughs> But it's all positive. Some of it's bullshit. <laughs> but it's a way to, to present a more positive person. And many people have problems and they want to see a more positive person. They want to see me getting out, walking, exercising, living life. And I'm trying to get there. And it's really hard sometimes. But I understand the feedback. And again, I'm going to try again. And dust yourself off and try again. Wow. Dust yourself off and try again. No singing. That's what I'm going to do. Easy, so, Ray. if you guys see some of the videos on my channel, they're going to be uh, make, probably put in members only. The more depressed videos that I talk about problems. You guys should be in the members only, too. Sketty to John, thank you for renewing your overdose membership today. Uh, I appreciate you. I love you guys. I really... Memberships is the only thing that gives me income on YouTube. Every video. Guys, we only need 160 more members to catch Steel Toe. Believe it or not, we've gotten 50 memberships today. That's crazy. With 500 views. So at least with you know the 40, 40. Just over 50. That I got right now, I get like a dollar and a half each. Hold on, what? Right now, I'm barely making over like 125 dollars on this YouTube channel. But I he makes a hundred and twenty-five dollars a month on his YouTube channel. Whoa, whoa! Money with money. By the way, YouTube payday today, huh? Cha-ching, everybody! Merchandise in other ways. I ain't making a lot, but long story short, thank you guys. Maybe I'll make that a video. After. We got. We're gonna have to reach out to Donkey Lips and make him a star here on the Nobody Likes Onions channel. How much I make on YouTube. 
It ain't that. We're going to add him to the NLO network, the Melton network. Um, a subsidiary of the Brandon network, actually. So, Citizen M, people joke, but he just can't work at Popeyes or Walmart. The rate of living there is sky high. He needs to move out, but don't pretend he wouldn't have to uh, uproot his entire life. Yeah, but like at what cost? You know, he he acts like he has to be like fuck off, Citizen M. At some point, you're like you're approaching forty. You've got to take the reins of your life. I have a million loser friends living in New York City and living in L.A. because they're convinced that they need to be there for the business. But I'm a comedian. It's like you're not. You work at Bubba Gum Shrimp. You walk around the city grabbing stuff for other people because you work for Instacart. Michael Ray Bauer thinks he needs to be in L.A. because the business, because Hollywood. No one's calling for Michael Ray Bauer to be in Hollywood. No one. He can't even work. He's not. He's on disability. So, yeah, he could work at Walmart. He could work at Popeye's if he moved to Phoenix. He's, he thinks he has to live two streets over from where his papa was born. He's a simpleton. It's the same reason Ray can't leave Cleveland. Where? Where would I live? Cleveland is home. He doesn't even understand. It'd be like if I kept making a pilgrimage back to my small town in Florida that I'm from every year, even though there's nothing there for me. But it's home. I don't know how to be anywhere else. You're, you have to figure out your finances like everyone else. He's sitting in a box in the middle of one of the most highly... Uh, sought after rental markets in the country screaming about money and how he can't make it. But he also doesn't work at all. So I understand what you're saying, but like, well, if he worked at Popeye's, he still wouldn't quite be able to afford anything. It's like, right. But right now he's just sapping disability and making an extra hundred here and there off cum-soaked DVDs. Sorry, VHSs. So like, at what point do we like shake people out of it and go... The dream is over. Hollywood's not calling. You're going to die alone and with nothing if you don't get it. It's like, it's like Chad. Like We get it. You're a comedian. You're doing it. You're one of the only ones out there still working. You work. You're a guy. We get it. Bone in the Carbarian, you're going on the wall. Bonin. Bonin. He's given out so many memberships today. Uh, we'd be we'd be remiss not to reward him. So uh, you know, I I understand. I'm sympathetic. I get it all. But like, at some point, you can't just keep going. Like, even if I had a job, I couldn't afford rent. It's like, okay, now what? What do we do? What do we do to get this going? What do we do to get this popping? How do we fix it? The answer isn't keep sitting in North Hollywood and not making money. <laughs> like, that definitely isn't the answer. So, you know, I, I I get it. I do sympathize with the guy just as much as I sympathize with other people. But, fuck. Can we have a bone in the Carbarian month? I, that is not a bad idea. I'm I'm... Willing to pass that up the chain and see what happens. Yeah, I, I, I'm mixed on donkey lips because it is pure unbridled laziness. But he also, he doesn't know what to do. He's paralyzed, you know, and not just from the obesity. He just doesn't know what to, he doesn't know where to go or what to do from here. All right. And then on another good, I know this video is 22 minutes long. Thank you guys for watching. Um, <laughs> And in another bit of good news, like, I sometimes go back and watch my, my vlogs at a happier point in time when I had my house or, or this or that. And I smile. I laugh at myself a lot. Uh, a lot of you guys might laugh at me as well or, or laugh at the vlog. Or Adam has two hands has gifted five memberships. Holy shit. 
Movie is not going to like this. And look at Corey Adam outed, everybody. We got him. Corey Adams spying on the onion. We got one. Ugh. If you ever catch me, if you ever out me watching Corey Adam with a free membership, woo. I'll quit broadcasting. If you ever catch me with like the, how embarrassing. How embarrassing watching Melton. Gross. I think my jokes or whatever it is is funny and I appreciate that. But it, I wanted to start vlogging again, but I don't have the phone. What? The audio is really messed up on my phone. Um What is what are you recording this on? Really quickly. But it's one of the only things I have. This is one of those things. Beloved Chatter five memberships. Holy shit. We're, we're, we, got, we got almost a hype train going. Nanerpus, Nanerpus. Nanerpus, Nanerpus. Nanerpus, Nanerpus. Nanerpus, Nanerpus. Carlos Danger, Ray DeVito's got to start doing memberships on his page. He doesn't. He doesn't. Are you his friend? Are you his, like, everyone stop doing the membership thing without anything to offer. <laughs> it's why Chad's now got a contest where he's giving out a free t-shirt if you become a member. You got to give him something. And he learned from Steel Toe to just run a lottery. <laughs> well, they're not getting any content. They're not really getting uh, any sort of... Uh, laughs out of it so i may as well give them a t-shirt they don't want as if anybody wants to stroll around town in a zumok mania t-shirt as if anybody wants that but okay you know if you say so <laughs> zumok mania yeah print me a hundred he's just sitting around Boxes full of those. But we got Donkey Lips here saying he can't vlog. It's like Chad, like, oh, I couldn't uh I w I couldn't put up anything on Patreon because my YouTube was shut down. Oh yeah, that's the reason that your pay paying Patreon members were getting nothing because your YouTube was shut down. Okay. Serial Killer 5 memberships. Clifford upgraded to the overdose light. Look at him rolling in. I'm never going to get to continue this video. You guys are just piling them on today. We are 120 away from reaching Steel Toes. 800 members. I'm confident we'll do it this week. I'm not even worried about it. I don't, I'm not even asking for it anymore. You guys are just making it happen. You're doing it, Peter. By the way, Ian Hawk apparently banning people in the Discord again unilaterally. Oh, boy. This is like the third time. Like, we all have discussions. We're not going to ban anybody without talking about it, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I just keep hearing, like, Ian banned me. Ian banned me. Ian banned me. It's like, what's going on? I understand if it's, like, his wife. <laughs> uh, Michaela gifted five memberships. I mean, it just keeps... Going on and on and on. Danny Stories gets a membership. Can we get to, can we get Aaron to melt down? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Daytua says Ian burned me. Ian banned me. I That can't be true. If that's true, Daytua, email me. I, I don't know what's going on. I don't even know who to believe anymore. You might even be trolling me and Ian's not doing shit. I don't even know what's going on. But I don't know of any reason anybody should be banned from the Discord. And again, we all talked about it saying that we weren't going to do that. So if that's happening, I don't understand what's going on. But I'm easily trolled and gullible. So I don't know if it's real or not. Ian fucked my wife. Ian banned me on Chad's channel. Ian sucks. Ian mooned me. Hawk went troll. <laughs> I think Hawk's always been a troll. You know, the difference between a troll is just the eye of the patrol, trolder. The eye of the patroller. 
Ian says, no one has been banned. What the fuck is going on? I believe Ian. If Ian says he ha- he didn't ban nobody, I believe him. But I got an email this morning from, or in the middle of the night, I got an email from, uh, who was it? I don't even remember who it was. All these people like think they're getting me. This guy, this guy wrote me. Uh, who was it? I don't even remember the name. He wrote me and he included, I'm not kidding you, in the email, it was all caps, the subject, Ian Hawk banned me. What are you guys, a bunch of little pussy bitches or something? Like all caps screaming at me. Had enough of my shit, huh, fat boy? Like all this stuff yelling at me. I was asleep. He even says in the thing, Ian Hawk banned me. Because he couldn't take take it. Are you guys sick of my shit, fat boy? Like, yelling at me because Ian Hawk banned him. And then I'm not kidding you, he attached, like, a bunch of, like, pictures of, like, guys flicking people off and, like, memes. And then a video, a, a video was attached to the email that I played. And is like, it's because I'm too much motherfucker for y'all. It's like It's just like, holy shit. Imagine getting kicked out of a Discord and then just railing at a guy who had nothing to do with it. He wrote like, you've had enough. You couldn't take me motherfucker. And I just wrote back. I don't know who you are. So the problem is definitely has nothing to do with me not being able to take you. <laughs> like, I don't know. There's nothing. I, you know, Chad thinks we over in our discord, we're like trying to bring him down and plotting. It's all like pictures of barbecue and jokes about, profile picture there's nothing no one's plotting to bring down chad there's a reason there's no screenshots of that happening ever anywhere so i don't know yeah some guy this morning was messaging me like i don't even remember the guy's fucking name because i don't know him yeah you couldn't take it could you fat boy it's like i sure sure i guess i couldn't take it um (laughs) i guess I don't know what we're talking about, but yes, I'm so mad that in the middle of the night, I told Ian Hawk to ban you. I don't even, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know how to pretend that's a real thing to walk around or vlog with. That's kind of easy. I got it. Oh yeah. He wants a phone to walk around and vlog with. So it's easy. I guess whatever this setup is, is too complication. A DSLR. From many years ago, I think it's called a Rebel, a Rebel 3. Somebody said we do post videos of Chad's Zoom court appearance. I don't know if that's a plot to bring him down. Also, I've never seen that. Um, People may not believe me. I'm not like in the Discord. I miss a ton. I haven't seen that video. I still haven't seen Chad's Zoom court video. So please tag me if you have that. I would love to see it. Or something like that. Um, but again, you got to put back. Also, does Steel Toe have 10,000 subscribers yet? Because if he doesn't, that's sad. Can somebody check? Batteries. I can't even zoom in. It's hard to focus. It's got manual focus. So you need another person to film you. And Hold on. Focus no, and- no, no. No fucking way. No way. Holy shit. 50. No. Buddy. Likes. Onions. Memberships. Holy shit. Lock up the vault. Too much. Too much. Lock it up. Lock it up. Lock it up. All right. DK is getting a special... He's already on the wall. You know, right behind my head here, DK. He's he's getting a I mean, that's you know. That's up there with Ian Hawk. DK and Ian Hawk are like neck and neck now for like eternal wall dwellers. Ian Hawk always has a spot on my wall. <laughs> that sounds sexual. But it's true. And and by the way, I think I got to turn it off. I think I gotta turn it all off. I can't. We can't have fifty. That's gonna. That's the rest of the show. Cha ching, cha ching, cha ching, cha ching, cha ching, cha ching. Jesus. 
Jesus. And I don't know what that's going to do to the number, but it's got to put us close. It's still tallying up. We're at 106 right now. It's still tallying up. So that'll be a while. I'll turn the overlays back on, but the emojis and sounds and even don't do an instant uh, chat right now. It's all off. It's all off for now. Let's finish this donkey lips video. And I can't focus when I put it on a tripod or I walk around with it, I'd have to go like this. And then of course I can edit that out, you know, but that's a lot of editing work. Long story short. Somebody get him a, a ring light selfie stick. <laughs> I'm gonna start vlogging again. I'm gonna try to make some cooking videos like I, I mentioned a week or two before. And um, hold on, is DK David Chandler? Did he change his name from Dave, DC? And now it's Chandler with a K. That might be who da David Chandler is now. DK David K Chandler. David K Chandler. <laughs> I'm just going to try to put out funner videos. And I fixed my computer. I think as good as I Guys, keep an eye on it. Let me know if anybody good gets outed. Um, DK said, no, I'm not. I mean, you might be Kachandler. I can get it at the moment with it being like 20, 22 years old. No, I think I built it in like 2010. Cost me a lot of money back then. He's so he's using a computer from 2010. I can't. I built it as best as I could back then. And so what? That's 13 years old, whatever. <laughs> but uh, I got an editing software uh, the other day. Um, I'm not going to tell you how I got it or how I got the serial numbers. But I got an what the fuck an editing software, and it appears to be working good enough on my old computer. So that made me think, I don't care. I'm going to walk out of the house, do what I do. I'm going to take my camera with Did somebody give him like an old copy of like premiere from 2011, the messed up audio. It's a little bit grainy, the audio, and I'm going to start vlogging and then I'm going to edit some stuff together. It's called iMovie, not on its 2010 PC. His, how much do you want to bet donkey lips computer is riddled with spyware and porn apps and malware just riddled with who knows how much how many people are like how many people in india are watching his his laptop camera at all times and and, and make some vlog, vlogs again maybe one a week so that makes me excited oh no the simp oh no i thought we were done chris bueller gifted 20 fucking memberships we might knock this out today. Just as just for funds. Just for funds. Holy shit. I love that. And I don't even know. Hold on. Let's let me do this and then this. And let's see what that does. Simple things make me excited. And um Again, I like vlogging. I like making little mini movies. Some people say they're too long, just like this video, because they're always like 15, 20, 30 minutes. I don't know. That's what I do. Some people say NLO is too long, 20, 30, 50 hours. That's what I do. But yeah, so I'm excited. I got an editing software that appears to be working good on my old computer. And you have what to does use that mean? what you got, which is my... my my iPhone that's a little bit old with a little bit of messed up audio. Yeah, I want to get Bauer as like a regular on this show. Turn on gifts, you pores. Turn on gifts, you pores. Um, so I'm going to use what I got. And it'll at least give me something to do and something to be excited about in my simple life. All right. I think that's enough for now. I love you guys. You're all amazing. Thank you guys for putting up with me for 30 minutes. 
Uh, everybody that's participating in the auction, again, check your emails and DMs. You might be a winner. And yeah. It's like Publishers Clearinghouse. You may already be a winner. Let's just move forward from that. Let's move forward from that. If there's anything else you guys would like me to talk about or vlog about in a future video, again, sometimes I don't have any ideas. Yeah, Chris Bueller's going too on the busy wall. About if he's not TV already, and film and episodes of Community. <laughs> I like lying down watching episodes of Community. Wow. All right, guys, pick yourself up some merch. Links are down below. Some of the stuff. Oh, I'm going to be adding to the merch store in the coming days as well. And like I said, I might put together a garage shell. Hit us with the numbers, Pat. How are the steel toe numbers? It doesn't register right away. So I won't see the tally, the total. I, I would imagine it, it's, I think we're like 100 away, if I had to guess, about 100 away now. But I can't, it doesn't, I think it takes about 24 hours to like register in the total. So like it won't even show up. Like, I don't know, it, it went down six overnight. Maybe yesterday's did, weren't even like tallied in yet. So I'm not sure. Uh, Goy Talk Live got gifted. <laughs> Goy Talk. Harry Balls on ya. That's great. Just great stuff. And some of the stuff that... Why are his arms outstretched like this? Didn't sell in the auction. So, guys, um, <laughs> imagine I do this. So, some of the stuff... It didn't sell in the auction. That'll be up later. <laughs> I just, for no reason, his arms are out like this. Why? So, just so you know, everything will be great. Just remember, I do a lot of auctions. Why are his arms out like that? That's wild. <laughs> put together a garage shell and some of the stuff why why are his arms out like that it's freaking me out he's freaking me out he just wants to be picked up like a baby holy shit all right i gotta turn him off again it's too much <laughs> why 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 <laughs> So there'll be some more auctions later. You guys are all great for being here. Just really great stuff. Bop bop shudulwap bam bam ding ling. <laughs> like what? What is he? What is that? I I'm I'm blown away. I I really don't get that. All right, guys, pick yourself up some merch. Out of nowhere, he's just going to extend his arm. Link card down below. Some of the stuff. Oh, I'm going to be adding to the merch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's a trailer. Trailer. Nice. <laughs> like, what is going on? What is up? Store. <laughs> he just, he's falling back. Uh, he's like. It's wild. The coming days as well. They're just out. They're just out for no reason. Put him down. Put him down. And like I said, I might put together a garage shell and some of the stuff. Why are his arms out? Why are they out? For no reason. He's just having a conversation and they're just outstretched. That didn't sell in the auction will be posted on there as well. Like I said. So Holy shit. That was really funny. Continue being a subscriber, a fan, a friend. And just know you are loved. Happy Father's Day. Happy Mother's Day. All you beautiful women out there, if you need a date, you think I'm cute, I'm funny. Whoa. I'm available. I'll do webcam sex. I don't care if you... I just need a new <laughs> webcam first because my iPhone overheat. I can do webcam sex because I did get some video editor. 
I like to edit all my webcam sex in my video in my video editing software. So just so you know, I'm good at it. I bang. I'm I'm a webcam sex guy. And basically, I'm on I'm an unstoppable force to be reckoned with when it comes to fucking. So that's Bauer. That's the auction update. Um, you know, really, really a lot to unpack there because it started out with the auction, but then it got into like, oh, $400 he got bid on one of the items. So he's doing pretty well. Someone's doing well, that kind of stuff. And so we're going, okay, well, the auction must have worked out really nice for him. But then we hear, oh, the $400 bidder hasn't contacted him. And who knows how many of these bids on these three items are are fake bids. And he might never see the money. So he's starting to worry about that a little bit. The one guy paid with the quickness. Dino. Dino paid with the quickness. So I find that odd that out of all the auctions, only one guy paid quickly. And uh, and I got an email the other day from a guy named Dino. And you might know him in the chat as Vaping Dago. And he sent me an email letting me know he won an auction for the Willies. We got one! And it's why I didn't want to bring it up yesterday or talk about it yesterday and telling you that I couldn't talk about it yesterday. We had to make sure this VHS was in the mail. And unstoppable by donkey lips. Dino won the auction for the Willies. He's the only one that paid Michael Ray Bauer. And that VHS is on its way to Dino, who is going to immediately flip it and send it in to Nobody Likes Onions, where we will be burning your precious belongings on air as Promised. And just in case you don't believe me that we are getting the actual official Michael Ray Bauer autographed copy from Dino himself of the Willies, I have in my possession a video certificate of authenticity and boy oh boy is it good let's watch yo oh, congratulations on being the winning bidder for the willie's vhs autographed with two photos that are about to be autographed live on a video for you so let's get right into it. This is your certificate of authenticity in video form. I'm autographing the front of the VHS and leaving room for others in the future. This is going and I'll great. I'll also autograph the back as well. He's leaving room for other autographs in the future. As if we're going to be taking around this copy, this VHS copy of the Willies to conventions. Michael Ray Bauer already signed it. Will you sign here? Will you be the next to autograph? The overlays are blowing out. The overlays are blowing out. Uh, let's get sit. Let's get this in the last couple minutes. Monumental achievements. Jerica will send us. These gifted memberships are pissing me the fuck off. I'm going to cry in the arms of my wife tonight. 
You thought that Gino not picking up my calls made me sad? Well, this is a whole other level of upset. Come up big, you pieces of shit. Stop giving to the neckbeard with tits. This guy who sits here hunchbacked with a fucking gut. Ugh. I can't win for losing. I'm a member now. I've been outed. Duh. Fuck you, Bone in the Carbarian. Fuck you, DK Chandler. And I'm a voyeur at heart. And my NLO membership card is soaked in copious amounts of cum. Ah! Oh, boy. Oh, fucking boy. There's one more. Yo, we got to take the power back. Bam. Here's the plan. Motherfucker Uncle Sham, step back. I know who I am. Raise up your ear. I'll drop the style oh. and clear. It's the beach and the lyrics they fear. The rage is relentless. We need a movement with a quickness. You are the witness of change. And to counteract, we got to take the power back. Uh, Tony South, thank you so much for gifting a membership. That, that means a lot. And MZ uh, got that membership. Whoa. Holy shit. Back to our certificate of authenticity. Guess he couldn't use his video editing software to edit this out. Just so you could have something unique on top of my photo. Autograph the front. And you can get other autographs and autograph the back. And now I'm going to do your photos. I'm going to do your photos. Cooper duper. Got it, Belcher. Let me personalize it. He just mumbled the name of the character he plays in the movie, Gordy Belcher. As if we all know Gordy from the Willies. Adam Two Ants, dude, this is getting outrageous. I wonder uh, who we will bust next time with memberships. We got Carl. We got Corey. Hold on. Did we get Carl? No way. Carl doesn't watch this shit. There you go. And where, sorry, I missed it again. Where are we at with Steel Toe memberships? Are they hitting today? Brother, there's your autographed photo. Sorry, might not be seen too well because of the camera. And you also got this one. Gordy. Gordy. Hello. Coming to you in the mail. Ray got gifted a couple uh, weeks ago. We did get Carl. Oh, boy. Hi, Carl. There it is. Your autograph of certificate kissing. I can't believe we haven't gotten Chad yet. He must have turned him off. I'm also going to be sending you a video message of a thank you on the side. So that's the certificate of authenticity. He says, I'll also be sending you a video uh, thank you message on the side. And believe it or not, we got that too already. Our Bauer video thank you message. Would you like to hear that one? Here we go. This is just a personal thank you to Dino. I, I muted the name out because I didn't know he was going to out it in his video. So don't worry about it. I beat Dino out, but here's Bauer's personal thank you to Dino. Yo, I just wanted to thank you for the support. Sorry about all the confusion in emails, but never done an auction before. But congratulations on winning the Willie's VHS autograph to you in the other video. I just did it and picking up the photos and I can't thank you enough for the support. You're an amazing human being. You can consider this a secondary video certificate of authenticity. And I can't thank you enough for being a friend, a fan, and an amazing human being. Thank you for supporting. God bless you. And we'll talk to you soon. Why are you going to talk soon? Are you guys friends now? Look. It's Michael Ray Bauer shining out. Oh, boy. Hold on. 
We got to go see that back. There's just moments of complete silence and then this. Is Michael Ray Bauer shining out? That's going to be the new show sign off. Is Michael Ray Bauer shining out? That's up there with this one. These lights will guide me home. You know, I mean, this is epic. It's epic. So I anticipate next week to have video of the Butch Bradley hearing. I anticipate next week or the week after very shortly to have in my possession Michael Ray Bauer's personal VHS copy of a movie no one's ever heard of or seen, The Willies. And as promised, if if one of you wins an item from Michael Ray Bauer's auction, and there's more auctions starting tomorrow, apparently, send it into the P.O. box. On your screen again now. And I will burn it live on the show, as promised. Something very, very precious to Michael Ray Bauer that means nothing to the rest of us. We'll burn it. We'll make a clip. We'll make sure he gets it and sees the memory of his father's ghost in the flames as it burns to nothing. You know, and, and if we can get more and more of his belongings to just burn and burn for piddly little amounts. And, you know, I, I hate to call Michael Ray Bauer a fucking liar, but he says in his auction results video that this video went for over $150. I have it on authority from Dino. Vaping Dago himself. This auction was $101. That's what he bid. He paid $4 for shipping for a total of $105. Donkey Lips goes out and tells everybody it was $150. That's why it's funny when he said uh, the other one was $175. No, $200. And the other one was over $400. But remember, no one else has paid him. For any of that stuff. And you know what the best part is? Dino is the second highest bidder on the other items. So we might be getting even more. And Donkey Lips, I know what you're thinking. I'm not going to pick Dino to win the next item, or uh, even though he's the next highest bidder. You have to. You need the money. You have to. And Dino has made it clear he has no problem buying more of Donkey Lips' stuff just to watch it burn. He's a fan of The Onion. He's a fan of the show. And oh my God, are we going to have fun just watching him watch us burn things? Okay? That's the kind of show we are. We're mean-spirited comedy. Um, okay, we got to get into the donkey lip stuff, the Bauer stuff. Real quick, I thought we'd watch uh, a donkey lips video of some happy times. Again, I, I got some internal information last night. Donkey lips is not happy about us burning his tape uh, today, but we got to watch some donkey lip stuff to get in the mood. Uh, so today I thought we'd watch this video called Food Hack French Vanilla. Oatmeal coffee. Two weeks ago, he uploaded this. I love it when he cooks in his little mini kitchen. And uh, I thought this would get us all set up nicely for opening up his uh, package here before we get into the big finale of the program today, okay? This is Michael Ray Bauer, French vanilla oatmeal coffee. It's going to be delicious. I encourage everybody to try to make this at home with your Steel Toe Morning Brew. What's going on, everybody? I'm here with another food type video. I'm going to call this a food hack. Food type video. I don't know if it's a food hack, but it's a hack for me. So let's get it started. I like to make coffee whenever I wake up, whether it be the dead of got something smoking, or I guess that's probably steaming water. Night. I like to make coffee in the dead of night. Or in the morning or in the afternoon. Whenever I wake up. 
Jeff Closer said no significance. My week's pay. Thank you, Jeff Closer. Jeff Closer, always the most interesting and infuriating packages in existence. Wake up. I like to make coffee. I typically use the caffeinated coffee because of my sugar, my blood pressure, and all that other stuff. Plus, caffeine really meshes with me. But you do you. And I do add a little bit of creamer, which I added to this coffee. I already got it. Whoa. First of all, I don't know a coffee pot in existence that you're supposed to fill up to the band. I mean, the fill line on a pot is definitely not like up to the brim. And also, who creams up their coffee in the pot? I, I, I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> He's creamed it. It's a small little pot. And I typically drink it, you know, for two days. Ugh. Put it in the fridge. Let it rest. And let it rest. It's not a brisket. I need fiber. Because I got a bad digestive system. I mean... Maybe it's because you ordered Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle-sized pizzas, house them yourself, and then hang the box on the wall and call it art. So I got some Quaker Oats <laughs> for oatmeal. I do like oatmeal. I normally like to put butter, maybe some sugar, brown sugar, but I can't do that because I'm trying to watch my sugars and all that other stuff. So today I started thinking about what makes oatmeal oatmeal you put in some hot water what makes oatmeal oatmeal water some people use milk and i was like milk and water sounds like coffee and i put a little bit of french vanilla sugar or flavoring into my coffee and i decided to heat it up and then I started thinking, I need to eat oatmeal at the same time. Oh, no. So I got to heat up water as well. I was like, just heat up the coffee that has water in it, and the French vanilla flavoring can be your sugar for the oatmeal. So because he has one hot plate... He's like, I got to drink coffee and I got to make oatmeal, but I need hot water for the coffee, but I need hot water for the oatmeal and I need sugar for the oatmeal, but I need sugar for the coffee. By the way, remember, he's doing all this because he wants to cut back on sugar. <laughs> Jocktober Junkie says, you got peanut butter in my chocolate. Right, exactly. So you see where he's going with this. He's going to make coffee oatmeal, which I don't know if that's a thing that exists. And pour the French vanilla decaffeinated coffee into the oatmeal. <laughs> oh, this has to be gross. Or vice versa. That'll be a meal. You get your coffee. You get your little bit of sugar from the French vanilla. I mean, French vanilla sweetener doesn't have sugar in it. That, like, cremation, coffee mate shit. It has, like, a sweetener in it. It doesn't have sugar. You wouldn't sprinkle coffee mate over your... You know what I mean? It's not for your oatmeal. That's disgusting. And it's decaf. And you get your fiber to go poo-poo later in the day from your oatmeal. He doesn't have a problem going poo-poo. He's on the toilet all the goddamn time. And it has a little bit of flavoring from the French vanilla and the sugar. From the French vanilla. Hmm. So, I made a cup of, or a thing of coffee, a liter, whatever. Let me pour some in there. A liter. A liter of cola. All right. Got a little cup here. Now we're going to open up the Quaker Oats. Pour it in there. It's already got French vanilla. Okay, let's see if I can do it all. I always love when a guy who's trying to cut down on sugar is eat, it's just housing carbs. I got to watch my sugar intake, so I'm eating oatmeal with sugar and whole pizzas. Huh. 
Got it. Live on camera or whatever, just to help everybody out. Put good amount, good amount. Good amount. I don't know if I can show it. It's kind of hard to show it. You'll lose your channel. On camera, but the coffee's in. You already said poo poo, live a little. In there. Can I? Ooh, it looks a little dirty, but ah, whatever. Looks like I mean, it looks dirty inside and out. Do you take this cup with you when you go poo poo? Poo poo. I mean, I mean, this cup looks filthy as shit. Crap. Maybe I'll pick up the camera and show it in a second. All right, I'll try to do that, guys. Ah! Leave it up to me to make a weird mesh. Oh no, there's his little pudgy peen. Leave it up to me to make a weird mesh. Again with this belt. You know, there's, I, I just don't know what's happening in this area. This belt's always hanging off. This is flipped out. Like, is there anything even in here? Hello, hello, hello. You know, like it's. It's a weird little peen. This looks like a meth addict's coffee table. Can you guys see it? This is filmed like, uh, <laughs> this is, this whole thing is filmed like Requiem for a Dream from the perspective of this coffee cup. Maybe I need to add some more oats. Shana, da na na na. Let's do that. Da na na na. It's gonna be a lot of oatmeal. <laughs> okay, there we go. So Hello. This, this is oatmeal being added to coffee. Mm, oatmeal being added to coffee. Once again, and we'll taste test it in a second. Doesn't look too bad. Some people might not want it as creamy or wet as that, but I don't mind it. I don't mind it. So let's see how this tastes in a live taste test. Okay, close up the the oatmeal. <laughs> Here it is. Here French we go. vanilla, the caffeinated coffee and oatmeal. I I don't I'm not like an oatmeal Show me guy. A little bit more if I can. Woo-hoo-hoo. The life of living in a studio apartment box with no kitchen. It's great. Tastes like oatmeal. Tastes like coffee. Got that French vanilla flavor. Hold on. Did, did this play? Why is that one not playing? No, not the Willies. It was my starring role. Well, I didn't even get to share the screen with Sean Astin uh, from Rudy. No, my heart weeps. My stomach rumbles. I can't believe my precious, precious Willies tape that I sold to Vaping Dago is Bye Bye Birdie. Oh, yeah, we did. This okay. is painful to watch. However... Smell in the fire makes me want to uh, throw some meat on there. Who wants a hot dog? Mm. <gasps> you know what? This ain't bad. Wow. If you're in I like how he's like, this ain't bad. It's like, you said you do it all the time. Why are you acting like you're just trying it? You know what I mean? In a rush, and you can't sit down and eat breakfast, and you need your coffee to go to work or whatever you do, <coughs> I think this is a, is, is a ploy. A, a way the to coffee it. will perk you up and the oatmeal will slug you down. Yeah, people love food videos. Ugh. It's not even like the oatmeal hasn't even soaked up any of the liquid. It's dripping. It's gross. Is that a burnt mug? No, it's just caked with shit. This mug comes from the Jake, the Jake Hudson finger collection. The finger butt catalog. 
<laughs> Why is he laughing? The funny thing I was thinking, the way it looks now, it's probably the way it's going to look coming out. <laughs> That made him really crack up. Uh, but it's good for you. It's healthy. I guess. As healthy as the cow. I mean, Bauer doesn't have a clue what's healthy. I guess. I mean, coffee with a little bit of French vanilla can be. He's always making health food videos and telling you what's healthy. It's like, meanwhile, this, uh, this iceberg hasn't ever melted one bit. There it is. Food hack, 101, save your time. You are a food hack. Food hack! <laughs> Kevin and Brennan and Bauer doing a show. That's what I want. French vanilla oatmeal coffee, or French vanilla coffee oatmeal. Please let me know if you try it. I know you can do other combinations. So he's wrapping up now, but he's still got two minutes left. Classic Bauer. Ending the video, but he's going to end it for the next two minutes. ...of liquids, you know, but since it's probably morning time when most people eat oatmeal, you don't want to use orange juice. You don't want to use anything else. You don't want to use orange juice. <laughs> he thought about it. You know, he probably tried it. Orange juice, oatmeal. Just my thoughts. You could add some raisins, some fresh fruit. I don't have any at the moment. Got to pick some up. It's funny how fruit costs more than burritos. Isn't that funny? He acts like he's just out of fresh fruit today. Normally, I have a bowl of lemons, bananas, oranges, and apples sitting here. But today... At the Bauer household, I'm all out of fresh fruit. Normally, I'm stocked to the gills with fresh fruit and raisins, but I don't even have any raisins. I'm out of fresh fruit. That's the world we're living in. Fruit costs more than burritos and tacos. It's also a myth, you know what I mean? I'm sorry, a banana's 17 cents. And not, I'm not even exaggerating. Like, that's what they are. There's 17 cents. 25 if you're really getting ripped off. Even like a 7-Eleven, like a banana is like a dollar. Cheaper than burritos. Even a microwave Amy's burrito is like three bucks. Apples and bananas are very cheap. <laughs> I mean, bananas might be one of the cheapest foods in the world. Seeds cost even less. Can you imagine growing anything besides fatter? You know, come on. Come on. And I know you're all ready for the fire, but we don't have enough likes yet. We got to get to 200 likes. Or we throw dime card out. Don't forget. Get those like buttons up. We got to hear Bauer sign off. You want to buy a, a big apple? It's a dollar. But you can get two tacos for 99 cents in Jack in the Box. <laughs> How's that for a healthy society? Teaching everybody. Yeah, but you get five bananas. It's like nobody, ta two tacos ain't going to fill you up anyway, Bauer. Like, let's not. How to live the quality lifestyle in school. Follow the pyramid. This, 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 and this. These are all the meals and stuff you can eat. You have to get your grains, your fruits, your vegetables, your this, your that. And guess what? The pyramid changes. Every few years. <laughs> no, it's a circle now. And it's still bullshit. You know, like the new food pyramid is like a circle or a sphere or whatever. And it was like all put together by like orange juice and coke it's like it literally is like you can have a handful of chocolate you can have all right guys this is pretty this is not bad at all mm. this guy's giving nutrition advice hopefully it's going to clear up 
whatever. That's what the doctor said. Version in there. Yeah, what is on the bottom of that cup? It looks like it's been forged in fire. There it is. Let me know if you guys have any food hacks for breakfast time. What's crazy, look, I, you know, I didn't want to go on a full Bauer dive today, but if you go to his videos, his latest video, this are my wonder exactly. years over. He's on the toilet again. He's had a haircut, but watch how he starts this video. What's going on, everybody? It's your weekly Monday, Michael Ray, Hey Bauer from the bathroom talk video. That's I haven't actually done a toilet thought video in a while. And I'm not going to do one today. Today I'm actually sitting here because I've had bubble guts all weekend. Today I'm actually sitting here Because I've had the bubble guts all weekend. So you're sitting on a toilet because you're worried that you might start spontaneously erupting shit. Mid talking during a during the making of one of your videos. Why don't you just wait till you're feeling better, buddy? Or why don't you just make the video and put it out if no accident occurs, and then or if you do start geysering shit, just delete the video and start over later. You don't have to fill us in on your toilet getting filled in. You know what I mean? Also, if the reason you're sitting there during this video, the reason you're sitting on your toilet is because you might spontaneously start shitting, I assume that means you're not wearing pants or your pants are down. So you're sitting with your pants down because of your bubble guts. Okay. And let's talk about it. Please do me a favor. If you appreciate me, you like me in any way, whether I'm rated a one from a one to a 10 on your scale, I love you. I appreciate you. Hit that thumb. I mean, you don't register on my scale. Hit up that like, that subscribe button. Consider becoming a member of this channel. It helps support me, my silliness, my stupidness, and it just makes me feel better as a human being that somebody actually likes me because I see and I get a lot of, you know, Let's call it hatred, bullying, whatever. People. Him and Ray both think bullying is like someone talking about them online. I call. I. I just call. Ray's a dumb guy. Ray's a not plugged in guy. Ray's not paying attention. Ray's out of it. Ray's a little stupid. They call that bullying. It's like Ray. You go on WATP. Are they bullying when they watch videos and make fun of people? Is that bullying? Oh, no, it's only bullying because it's Ray and he doesn't know how to fight back? Make up your mind. Like, bullying? People have varying opinions of me, and it's okay. I wish I could be loved by everybody, but I can't. I do some stupid things. I'm really, really weird. I'm very, very, very unique. And is my life downhill from what it, what it once was? Yeah. But I can always climb up, back up that hill. Running up that hill, and getting up that hill, and did it. I, I don't, I don't know the. He's good at the jingles. Words, but it's a great song, and it's a great moment in a TV show. And in today's video, we're gonna have a another auction item. We're also gonna give a couple of stories. Auction item. And we're gonna, we're gonna talk about. A movie that I saw, and I'm going to give my review. Look at it, I got gray hair, and it looks like Come. butter. Come. Or something from food just hanging. Here. Come. What is he talking about? Hold on. 
Oh, yeah. I cut my hair. You guys might have saw it on the last video, but it feels like summer. It feels like summer. Consider becoming a member of this channel. I was supposed to go live yesterday on Sunday for members only. And I had such a wild Saturday night that I woke up real late on Sunday. Hold on. he He's plugging his members only by saying he didn't do a members only thing this week. Hey, join the members only. I didn't do any content this week, but join. I missed going to an important event. And then I had a bunch of messages from a friend of mine that I kind of had to help out. So I rushed out of bed, not even awake. He did this whole thing last week where he's like, I'm thinking about going and staying in this content house, but I'm nervous. I've I haven't really left the home overnight since I moved into the Bauer box. I kind of reclusive, stay at home. And yet he's like, oh, I was late for an important event and I had to go help a friend. It's like, I doubt you leave the house in that much of a middle of the afternoon help my friend out emotionally whatever verbally and then i got the bubble guts uh oh the bubble guts what the bubble guts rocking to the beat the bubble guts the bubble guts rocking to the beat the bubble guts the bubble guts bubble guts ever verbally and then I got the bubble guts. I got the bubble, the bubble guts. guts. I got the, the bubble, bubble guts. guts rocking to the beat. The, the bubble, bubble guts. guts. The, the bubble, bubble guts. guts. Maybe that's why I'm sitting here on the toilet. The bubble guts rocking to the beat. Hold on, are you shitting to the beat? Are your is your asshole farting to the beat? No bubble guts. Bubble guts. Oh, yeah, it's like that shitting on a toilet. Sitting on a toilet. The bubble guts. The bubble guts rocking to the beat. The bubble guts rocking to the beat. The bubble guts. The bubble guts rocking to the beat. Someone's got to remix this bubble guts into a song. That's great. The bubble guts. The bubble guts. The bubble guts rocking to the beat. And then I got the bubble guts. The, the bubble guts. guts. The bubble guts rocking to the beat. The bubble guts. The bubble guts. Maybe that's why I'm sitting here on the toilet. Now, I actually just like this room. Some so that's Bauer. We all know Bauer. We all love Bauer. And we all support Bauer, which is why I commissioned people to win his auctions to send me the items so that we could burn them for fun. And as you know, our buddy Vaping Dago won an auction item. Uh, the Willies. VHS. Now, to prove that we really got the Willie's VHS from Bauer, we have a certificate of authenticity. Uh, video authenticity. Unable to play video. Error. It's really what you want uh, in a show. One more time. Yo, oh, congratulations on being the winning bidder for the Willie's VHS autographed with two photos that are about to be autographed live on a video for you. So let's get right into it. This is your certificate of authenticity in video form. Authenticity. I'm autographing the front of the VHS and leaving room for others in the future. And I'll also autograph the back as well. Just in case anybody thinks it's not real, I'm autographing the front and the back.
So don't even try anything. The bubble guts. The bubble guts. The bubble guts. Rock. Just so you could have something unique on top of my photo. Yeah. Autograph the front. And you can get other autographs and autograph the autograph back. Autograph the back. And now I'm going to do your photos. Yeah, boy. The bubble guts. The bubble guts. The bubble guts. Sign in the receipt. The bubble got. Got it, Belcher. He remembers his characters' names as if that matters. Gordy Belcher. Like, we're all like, ah, oh, yeah, that was my favorite role. Let me personalize it. The bubble got. There you go, brother. The bubble got. There's your autographed photo. Sorry, might not be seen too well because of the camera. And, and you also VHS got this one. Tape. Coming to you in the mail. Da Willie. There it is, your autograph of Certificate Kissity. I'm also going to be sending you a video message of a thank you on the side. And he did. Yo! Oh, congratulations on being the winning bidder for the Willie's VHS autographed. With here's his uh thank you video, second certificate of authenticity. Yo, I just wanted to thank you for the support. Sorry about all the confusion and emails, but never done an auction before. But congratulations. Let's not burn it. What guys, don't don't start getting soft on me in the chat. Holy shit, is that real? On winning the Willie's VHS autograph let's not burn it video let's not it. burn it and picking up the photos and i can't thank you enough for the support you're an amazing human being you can consider this a secondary burn it the video fuck down of authenticity <laughs> thank you enough for being a friend a fan and an amazing human being thank you for supporting god bless you and we'll talk to you soon So, uh, then he sent Dino to Florio. Yo, I just a picture of the envelope. This is headed out to you. He said he, he, and once we got confirmation that, uh, he had shipped the envelope, we revealed it to you people that he, uh, shipped the envelope. And, and he sent this photo. I, I don't know who Denny is, but it says Denny outgoing. I don't know if that's the mail guy, the his mail guy or whatever. He was letting him know. But ladies and gentlemen, I have that package in my hands today. Denny outgoing. We got it. We got it. We got the package. We've got the shit. It is happening. It is happening. Head over to NLO Clips uh, today and pick up your subscription to the channel. It's all here, baby. Hold on. We got the most bent up shitty photos. And of course, of course, the grossest copy ever of a VHS tape we've never heard of called the willies and this is this looks like it's been on his shelf forever like i feel disgusting even touching this gross uh fucking tape like how it feels sticky it feels Sticky, you know what I mean? Like, you ever have an old shitty videotape that's been like just sitting on your it's autographed by Gordy? I don't know if you can see okay, Gordy, Michael Ray Bauer, Gordy, and then on the back, too, just classic Gordy. Um. 
but it's faded. It's gross. It's shit. And we got it. And I couldn't be more happy. Okay, and then we got some photos in here. There's uh, the same, just the photos he showed. Gordy from the Willies. These are just printed off his computer. Complete trash. Gordy from the Willies. You know, and the photos don't really mean anything to him, but that videotape he's had since the 90s, I guarantee it. I don't know when this thing came out. It looks it looks a treat. I mean, it's all frayed. Like, you know what I mean? Like around all the corners, like it's all shit. Like it really it really is just a gross tape. It really is a fucking disgustable videotape. The Willies, though. We <laughs> And then some guy sent in, uh, let me just put this aside for just a second, because we are going to be burning this into an inferno. And and look, I know it means something to him, and I know that makes it sad. And I see people in the chat starting to get a little like, ah, maybe we shouldn't. Melton, don't, take, don't touch anything else. Make sure you're washing your hands. Yeah, I, I get it. I get it. It's fucking disgusting. So somebody sent in this morning. I know this guy. Somebody sent in this morning these two clips of Michael Ray Bauer in the Willies. I had never seen this. So this is just a great accompaniment to uh, the burning, which we are going to be partaking in just a few minutes here. Uh, The burning. Burn, baby, burn. Um, are you prepared for all the geist that'll be released during the burning? How much money to what? How much money to what? Send it back. Send it back. We're burning it. That's the funny part. He's already been messaging this guy. Look, there's a, there's a fan of the show. He's been messaging. He's not happy. He's very hurt. He He does not like this. He also told this guy that he doesn't know who I am and he's never heard of nobody likes onions, which can't be true. It can't be true. He already talked about how how somebody trolled him on the auctions. We don't need no water. Shame, shame, shame. 500 to not burn it? Yeah, but hold on. We have a... Uh, all right, we're getting a call. Oh, I'll call back in if you want to call in. Okay, I'll take 500 to not burn it, but you have to get Vaping Dago on board. If you want to save it and not burn it and be mean, you offered 500. Okay, go. 500 to not burn it. Hello? Yo, hey, uh, quick audible. What if you gave him like 10 minutes to call in, like a call from the governor? Say, you know, you know, he might be watching. So say, hey, if Michael Ray calls in, I won't burn it. You think he's watching? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, he's aware that this is happening. So why don't you say like, like an execution style stay of execution if MRB calls in. You okay. Know, delay it. I'll entertain Something it. Something like that. I'll entertain it. Good idea. Michael Ray All Bauer, right. if you're listening, <laughs> if Michael Ray Bauer, if you call in, you can you can save your tape. 323-825-4990. Vaping Dago said, fuck you, no deals. I mean, he bought it. Here's the thing. I said, if you buy this and win the auction and send it to me, I'll burn it. I said that. And then Vaping Dago has spent hundreds of dollars, not only on this program, but also to get this item, have it sent here to me under the promise of burning it. We're going to burn it. For weeks, let's burn it. Now everyone turns into a bitch. Bauer would have reached out by now. Bauer has coffee ready at all times of the day. I keep it in my fridge. I keep it in my fridge. My coffee. Uh, all right. Scene number one of 
Michael Ray Bauer and the Willies. Maybe if we watch this video, you'll all feel better about burning it. Maybe if we watch the video, you'll all feel better about burning it because it's complete shit. Is this a platypus monster? Is that Michael Chiklis? Is that the commish? <laughs> I told him it was a special batch. <laughs> Gordy is a Gordo, am I right? Gordy's a fat little fuck. Torch it, torch it. What are the women thinking? I want to know about the sensitive women in the crowd. Are they saying burn it? Melinda R. says verbal contract, burn it. MGD says just stop. People think it's mean. I, I don't know. You know, I'm going to really split the crowd here. But this is what we said we were going to do. B. Smiley says put a fire to that tape. I told if someone I told B, uh, Bo Archer, you send in five hundred, I'll not burn it. Aside from that, or a stay of execution by the governor himself, aka Donkey Lips, calling into the program immediately to save it. I don't see how we save this tape. We're burning a boy's dream. Look at this fat fuck. <laughs> Look at him in this hammock with his big shoulders. What's going on? Uh, we're going to need a drone shot for Bauer. Can we get Google Earth over here to film this? What a big a boy. All right, so that's his first scene from the Willies. He may think it's mean, but let go of the past, Bauer. Yeah, also, you know, we're doing you a favor. When you do get kicked out of your house eventually, um, you're not going to have to pack up all this shit. I really think that's Michael Chiklis, the commish. I didn't know a man's spot. He was up to anything other than chasing people away from his property. Well, you pass by his place on the way home from school, don't you, Gordy? Um, yeah, I guess. Oh, did you know he was into all this? How the heck would I know? I'm just asking. Sorry. Yeah, how would Gordy know? If it didn't have wings on it, he didn't care about it. It did sound a little bit like Summer Carter's kids. I got that same vibe the minute it started playing. I almost paused it and said something. Cry, fatty. Cry for me. Yeah, everybody wants it to burn... Uh, Acid Dust is a member for three months to Overdose Light says burn the tapes this movie is garbage get out of my willies is that the lottery music it feels like that's the lottery music can't you see the numbers being drawn to the music in the background of this? Listen. Your Powerball is four. 16. 27. Put the fly in the oatmeal. What? Send Bauer the 500 and let us burn it? Gee, Rob. Come on. If anybody's getting 500, it's me. You know, I'm not giving money to Bauer. Bauer got his money. $100 for a VHS tape. Hello? A cum covered VHS. Gordon Belcher, what in the hell are you doing? What do you mean? Gordy, I don't know how much more of this I can take. I mean, we have been very patient with you and your. Your hobby. 
I mean, we keep thinking you're going to grow out of all this, but I don't see any signs of you changing. Other kids play baseball and go to school dances. Other boys are interested in girls. Hell, other kids even have some friends. All the acting in this is awful. All you do is sit downstairs in the dark and play with those filthy damn flies. Well, I didn't raise my son to be some kind of fruitcake. From now on, this obsession of yours is going to stop. And that's it. End of the argument. MGD switch now? Burn it. Burn it. And what about this, Gordy? Did you think this was funny? Huh? Did you think I wouldn't notice these weren't raisins? Well? Gordon, your mother's talking to you. I expect you to answer her. No, it's not. It's not chick What was that? You're right. I don't know, okay? I don't know. Are you just through yet? Sit down. Ah, oh, Dad! Now, I will tell you when to leave and when you are excused. Until. Ugh. This movie's a stinkeroni, huh? You guys still against burning it? Ah, <laughs> uh, you still against burning it, you fucking hacks? You fucking hacks? Let's burn it. Let's burn it. To hell, they're saying. To hell, they're saying. All right, so we got to get set up here for a little bit of a fire. Just so the people don't know that we're we're being saved. We have a we have a fire extinguisher on standby if any of this goes crazy wrong. We do have a fire extinguisher. Um you want to stand back 2 meters and spray at the fire, okay? We got that. I also have a copious amount of water on standby if if necessary. And we got to do this in a careful, considered way. So I'm going to kind of clear my desk. Okay, so yeah. Here's a uh, a look at what I've got working. We'll get some of that fire going. Of course, we've got the VHS. That's going to be great. We got these great uh, pictures of Gordy. Imagine we can burn the whole envelope. I got to get my mic out of the way. This is going to be something, everybody. Okay, we got the DVD. Or sorry, DVD. Fucking year is this. We got our VHS of the Willies here. It is uh, weathered. It's pretty shit. But it's made it uh, to this moment. Of course, and um, Gordy, he's great. Gordy's great. And we're going to just burn this motherfucker to the ground. Thank you so much to Vaping Dago, who made this possible. And um, we'll always keep you in our dreams and in our hearts. Without further ado, we burning, baby. We burning. <laughs> oh, take that, Bauer. Oh, God. Open a window. There's no windows in here. This will just be gross. Delethian gross. And, um,. There we go. A dream deferred. Oh, God. Yeah, that's going to get smoky. Yep, that was a mistake. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Bye, Bauer. Sorry about the smoke alarm. Sorry. It is burning. We got the water on standby. I feel like we should have prepared some music for this. 
or something. It's a sad moment. It's a boy's dreams. And you know, um, oh boy. Oh no. Hold on. I got to get the smoke alarm. Okay, hold on. <laughs> it's burning. Oh boy, my whole house is uh We'll try to clear it. My wife's going crazy. Oh no, she's not liking it. Oh no, my dog's losing her mind. It's okay. Okay, hold on. Stand by, everybody. Tape didn't even burn. The tape didn't even really burn. Hold on. People are saying you need an accelerant. Maybe I do. Because we barely got any uh burning out of the tape here. So maybe we kick it up a notch. Oh bo oh boy. Yeah, that's bad. That's bad. Hold on, I'm I'm relighting part of it to try to get the VHS to burn. I want him to really see the dream is over. I really want him to see. The last time I really burned this ah. bad, it was chlamydia. All right. Well, that didn't seem to. The jacket of the movie is burned to the videotape. Please don't add an accelerant in your house. Thank you. I don't need help on how to do this, okay? Ha, 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 you dummy. I covered that tape in asbestos, you dumbass. All right, so now I'm just watering it all. <laughs> uh, now, I'm just, now I'm just coating it all in water. Melton can't make fire. Yeah, we need Ray over here, huh? I built a grill. Well, there it is. I mean, that is um, destroyed. <laughs> the uh, It's hot, but this got, P this VHS cover got like, oh, the tape was, practically fine <laughs> oh no it's not it's warped to shit oh god this is oh it's bad yeah this tape oh this tape is fucked <laughs> this tape is melted ah yeah the tape is fused to the Oh, God. Uh, 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 I'm going to throw up. Oof. 
Oh, it smells so bad. I, ugh, I'm gagging. I'm sorry. The smell of this is atrocious. Only and mostly because it looks completely fine. Mostly because um, it's so old. I, it's like asbestos. It's like asbestos. It's gr- gross. Light it again. Okay. <laughs> it's mostly wet, so I don't know if that'll work. It's producing so much black smoke. <laughs> it's fucked. It really is fucked. Holy shit. Oh, God. It sinks so badly. Is the main problem with it is that it smells like... It smells almost as bad as it did before I lit it on fire. Oh. Oh, God. Uh, I I can't even explain to you the smell. It filled my whole studio with black uh, smoke, and it reeks in here. And my wife came running up because all the smoke detectors are connected, so the whole house is beeping, the dog. Oh, God, it stinks so bad. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, fuck. I got to get an air filter or something in here. It's fucking bananas. It's really nasty. It's it's thick and gross. Has your ceiling blackened yet? No. Uh, your wife is going to, she's not happy. She's screaming. She had something to do. She was on a phone call. Uh, the noxious poison. All right. Yeah. I mean, it's bad. It's bad. I opened up and I aired out. Like, I think it'll get better. The AC's on. But this is stinks. This is how we pay the bills, honey. Carcinogens. Um, the firm will burn light that. The film will burn like that. I mean, it's all wet now. I had to put it out. It was smoldering black smoke that was thick in here, and I couldn't fucking breathe. It was really, really bad. Hey, Melton, this is your brain. Go outside and do this. You're dumb as fuck. No, no, we got uh, it. Gugger F J J J F uh J C F F D A S F. Uh, it ain't getting better anytime soon. It already is. The air's filtering it out. I got a pretty good AC. Uh, not one of your smarter stunts, Patrick Melton. Uh, what's next? Drink as much water as you can till you go to the hospital. Are you guys crazy? We said we were going to light a fire in the studio. That was the whole thing, and we did it. I wish it was bigger and more grand, but if it was, then the show would be over right now, and I would have had to cancel all that. We did. We did what we set out to do. We destroyed the tape. You might as well light up the bong. It's downstairs, or I would. Burning the inside was it was the um, least melting thing you could do. Yeah, it would have been funny to put it on the grill. I just want we got to do it on the show. It's got to be done on the show. You should have gotten your gardener to burn it. Uh, Jay Santos, you should have had Rick help you. Ah, oh, fuck. I look, we did it. That was the point. Mission accomplished. We did it. Um, you know, and how do you feel now that we've destroyed a boy's dreams? Is everybody okay with it? Send it back to him like that. Vaping Dago says, send it back to him. We did it. Wait till that gets into your AC filter. I just changed them. Patrick, don't listen. You've been burning things indoors for years. Yeah, this is one of my specialties. I do this kind of stuff all the time. You don't know anything about me. The burnt ends are the tastiest parts. Members only tonight. Let's try it again. We're not doing it. Send it back. Put it on an auction now. I feel great. Now send it back. This is awesome. 
Uh, April, tip that camera down a little more, she said. Tip that camera down a bit more. Mama wants to see that real meat, Hermano. Mama wants to see that real meat? What if my belt was exactly like Bowers? You saw it, and I had the same little loop. Tip that camera down a bit more. Mama wants to see that real meat, Hermano. Uh, Daytua says you're giving me an anxiety attack. G-Rob. <laughs> Says it's the greatest show. Sir Vosep says, send him a VHS that just has the video of all this burning saved to it. <laughs> send him a VHS of just this. Because he's got to have, uh, you know, your fires are as good as Aaron fucking. Look, I had to keep it in balance. I thought about putting a little fire starter on it and getting it going. The cover fused to the outside of the tape. The whole outside of the tape bended and warped. Then I cracked it open, and we lit the inside on fire. And the inside burned up pretty good. Good luck getting it to... You want to see it? Would you like to see uh, the Willys VHS? Michael Ray. Michael Ray Auctions. The Willies tape. You think it's okay? You think you'll be watching the Will the Willies? You think you'll be watching the Willies anytime soon? Everybody, pop that in your old. Pop that in your old VHS. Oh, God. I think it's an improvement. Show us the willy. Now send it back to him. You're going to be too sick for tonight's show. You should have pulled the film out and lit it on fire. You're right. You are right. I should have pulled the film out and lit it on fire. Dime Card's life is on the line. Hit the like button. Yeah, if you enjoyed that, hit the like button. You know, I actually got a lot of hate about doing this moody didn't like me doing this don't you know he said it was the meanest thing i've ever done and that it was mean as fuck and you shouldn't do this and i actually you know i wrestled with it a lot and i was um i didn't get into comedy to make people feel like shit i got into comedy to make people laugh it's not my fault that i can make thousands of people laugh by burning and making one man cry and making him sad. The fire was not real. It was not real. It was not real. It was not real. It was not real, says Pastor Deletian Gross. I mean, the fire was real. It stinks like assholes. This is far from the meanest thing you've ever done. Who cares? Something being mean is funny sometimes, too. Thank you. I got the bubble guts rocking to the beat. I bet the keto dark chocolate won't taste so bad now, says Spaghetti to John. It's truly wor- uh. Is this truly worse than a guy taking photos of another man's house? When you pulled the film out, you should have lit it on fire and ran around your backyard waving it like it was a sparkler. This was a fun show. We only need 37 more likes. Collateral damage. Did you have sugar today? What's happening? Ah. No, I really, I, I wrestled with it because I, I, I don't want to be mean to Bauer. I, I'm in a very fortunate position. Um, I have a lot of supporters. I have a lot of fans. I get a lot of love. And it's not easy for somebody like Bauer to generate funds. He's selling things that really mean a lot to him and, and belong to him. He's, think about it. He's kept that his whole life. Probably over 30 years he's had that tape in his possession. It means something to him, and he sold it because he had to to pay bills. And then we burned it for laughs while I made six times the money he made on that tape being silly. So, like, when you put it in perspective like that, it's like, ah, fuck. (laughs) Um, And it feels a little shitty. Um, to do to a man who's down. It's like kicking a man when he's down, you know? But also, like, those are the easiest guys to kick. You don't want to kick a guy while he's up and ready for it. He might fight back. (laughs) 
Uh, Jimmy0224 joined the Overdose Light membership. Thank you so much. He burned all the $100 paying bills. Patrick's having burners remorse. I mean, maybe a little bit. But maybe not at all. When uh, when Dino Vaping Dago messaged me about doing this, I asked him the very same thing I asked you people. I said, you know, I know that I said that I will burn this tape because that would be funny. If we won an auction item that was important to him and we burn the tape, that'd be a hilarious thing. Then he won the auction item, and it became very real, and I realized that I was going to have to burn his tape, and I really did start feeling bad about it. And I asked Dino, do you mind if I don't burn the tape? Can we just... I thought it would be nice to send it back to him. That was my very first instinct. That's true. And I said, what if, what if we send the tape back to him? And Dino... Vaping Dago was like, fuck that guy. Um, I don't care what happens to his tape. And I said, well, if you don't care what happens to it, then you probably don't care if I actually burn it or we pretend to burn it. And he said, yeah, I don't care. This is for you. And I thought, it's, it's a very easy road to take this boy's tape that means so much to him and burn the fuck out of it. That instinct is shit. Glad you burned it. But I didn't. I didn't burn it. Uh, that tape was fake. I spent two days and uh, probably $60 uh, creating a duplicate videotape of the Willies that looked just like the original. When I uh, when I received the tape, the Willies, I purchased the cheapest VHS I could buy on Amazon, and it happened to be a copy of The Rock. Brand new copy of The Rock in the box. And uh, I bought some vinyl sticker paper. And I took photos of every side of the box. And I proceeded to make a fake. First thing I did was take a blank sheet of that paper and cover the videotape of The Rock. Creating what I call a body in white. Second thing I did was take all those sides I took photos of and uh, lay them out on a template, colorize it the best I could, and apply that decal to the blank tape of the rock, creating a duplicate videotape of the rock. I'm sorry, the willies. Meaning that the actual copy of the willies is unscathed. It's right here. This is the original. It actually has a red stripe down the side. And I'm going to be sending this back to Michael Ray Bauer. So you got all your feels out of it, pretending like we burned it. And here's the real video. We're going to be sending this to Michael Ray Bauer. Not only am I going to be sending this to Michael Ray Bauer, um, I'm going to be sending Michael Ray Bauer a gift pack of uh, Nobody Likes Onion shirts and a Raiders color hat, you know, the uh, silver and black Nobody Likes Onions hat. I'll be sending this care package uh, right here to Michael Ray Bauer. As a thank you. We're going to be giving it all back to Michael Ray Bauer. I can't. I can't do it. I, I can't. And by the way, this was all authorized by Vaping Dago. 
Um, he knew that this was the plan from day one. I, I didn't come up with this later. I, I never was going to burn it as long as it was okay with him. If Vaping Dago told me to burn it, I would burn it. He told me to. But we're going to be sending Bauer these shirts and the hat and the VHS. And I see even more people getting upset now, you know, that it was fake. But it's what I felt like doing. I asked Vaping Dago if that was okay. He said he didn't care. And um, and I think it feels right to do. Again, I I um I'm lucky to be in a position that that um people support me and I get to do this show. And I while I'm not a, against burning it, and I could have very well burned it. It'd be easy to burn. I don't really care. It it doesn't sit right. He's having a rough time. Bauer's having a rough time. And um. I think this will cheer him up. So he can have it back. He can sell it again if he wants to sell it again. Uh, I, I I purchased very large shirts for him. I hope they're the right size. And I'm going to include a note in the box when I send it back to him. And, and hopefully he sees this video as well. We'd like to offer Michael Ray Bauer a permanent correspondence position here at Nobody Likes Onions. So that you never have to sell something that's important to you um, like this again to pay your bills or make ends meet. We could absolutely throw Michael Ray Bauer 100 bucks here and there to come on the show and add some value and some entertainment here. So I will be including a note in this package to Michael Ray Bauer, gesture of goodwill. Returning your tape and um, giving you some gifts, which, you know, you, you may burn my shirts and burn my hat. But let's get him on. Wouldn't it be more fun to have Michael Ray Bauer working with Nobody Likes Onions than to be a permanent enemy um, of this? You should have kept this to yourself uh, and not told us. No. Here's the problem with I, I I'd get a bunch of hate mail for burning it, and I'll get I'll get hate mail for not burning it. Just like people in the chat are calling me a pussy now, um, you know, everybody's got to make their own decisions and do with what do do with what uh they're given. I I don't feel like I've gone back on my words because the contract I made is with anyone who happened to win the auction. Vaping Dago won the auction. Dino won the auction. I told him from the word go, I'd like to send this back to him. I don't want to just be a mean guy to be a mean guy. But I've given you my word. If you say burn it, we burn it. And Dino didn't care. Said, if you want to send it back to him, send it back to him. And that's what sits right with me. I don't want to, I don't want to kick this guy for no reason. We make fun of him. We watch his content. He is funny. He is worth laughing at. He does shows in his bathroom. There's plenty of content here to laugh at. No one gives a fuck about this movie or this tape. No one. But he does. Also, there aren't very many copies of it. I tried to just get another copy of the Willies and fake it that way. I really tried. It, it's almost impossible. It wasn't easy to create a duplicate copy. It wasn't cheap either. You know what I mean? Like, this, this took hours of my time and planning and ordering. All this stuff was put in motion weeks ago. Before I even had the tape in my possession, I ordered all this stuff to do this. This was the original plan. Um, and I think it'll feel better. I think, I think, you know, it sits more right with me to do this. How did you replicate the jizz stains on it? Oh, my, I mean, I I just really, really roughed it up. Uh, thanks for joining. For Bauer, Vaping Dago, another $99. Wow. Send it to Bauer. For Bauer. For Bauer, I'll send some uh, new old Dell products. You made the right decision. It would be great to see uh, power on the sh Bauer on the show. Way to go, fat. 
Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, I thought it, th- this would be a way everybody could get their kind of rush from us burning it and also doing the right thing. Not that there is a right thing in this situation, but this feels better, doesn't it? Doesn't it feel better that to bum a guy out to make his day? Doesn't it feel better to have power and to not use it? Bauer's never done anything to anybody. Bauer's not a bad guy. He needs help. He doesn't know how to make money from the internet. And I think we can get laughs with Bauer and help Bauer out. And if we can do that, that's a win for everybody, right? Uh, Nope. And not really. We all got punked. Fuck no. You just killed your dog for a bit. He's not a good guy. I got a bad taste in my mouth. No one can trust you now. I'd rather be known as a guy who's sometimes dishonest. Here's here's the thing to me. I, yeah, I lie to you people all the time. You guys don't know shit. I've told you from the very beginning not to trust internet men. The lies I tell don't hurt anybody. I don't. I didn't say that Kumia broke in, burned the tape, and said this is Kumia country. The lies I tell help people out. Bauer gets his tape back. You got to see me burn a tape. And more importantly, the person I had the contract with, Vaping Dago, approved it. So again, if he w- the if Vaping Dago would have said no, I bought that for you to burn, burn it. I would have burned it. Hello. Hey, man, I want to say that was brilliant, dude. Great twist. Great twist. Fuck all the people saying it wasn't good. That was great, man. Yeah, just because you can hurt somebody doesn't mean you have to. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. That was, like, so good because it was so funny. Like, people were like, burn it the fuck down. People were like, oh, don't do this. And then it was like, well, we did, but we didn't. Uh, But Dabbler says you just wanted to be best friends with a fat kid from Salute Your Shorts. Well done, Melton. Yeah. No, I just like, uh, yeah, I don't know. We don't need to burn this guy's tape. He's like, things aren't going well. Things aren't going well for Bauer. And we can make things go well. Like, I'm not kidding. A guy yesterday told me he's losing his mind and that he was really getting mentally unhealthy about us burning his tape. Because that is an insane thing. A guy bought your tape and is just going to burn it for fun, for laughs. Yes, funny. But what if you can do both? What if you can burn a tape and give a boy back hope and dreams?